be uh, quite pleased to see on my team. Howdy. Oh, oh, hey, hey, you're that Captain Nemo guy. How you doing? I, How are I'm these? not too bad. How are you? I'm doing great. We're just getting set up here for the first match that I will be spectating. O3 versus TDA. Waiting on one person, and then we'll be starting here pretty soon. Alrighty. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. This yeah, this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be a ton of fun. I'm very much looking forward to all the games today. And I'll be casting with you for the first time. Actually, I don't think we've met before now. I don't, I don't think I don't, we have no, either. I don't think we've uh, met before. I'm, I'm a complete hermit, so like I just kind of go <laughs> off and do my own thing. But hi, fair enough. Fair uh, enough. I, I, I'm Zared. I uh, don't bite uh, most of the time. I mean, unless you go uh, into that sort of thing. Uh, uh depends on the day. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So don't you usually stream uh, very early in the morning? I do. In fact, I get uh, I stream. Uh, I start my stream at 4 a.m. local time. Because, is that Eastern? No, I'm U.S. Central. Central. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's... That third shift of life, though. <laughs> so it's, it's about to be 9 in the morning for me. Yeah, it's... Uh... So, yeah, you're just one hour behind me. Yep. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Fun stuff. <sighs> All right, we are waiting on our last person... And then we'll be able to get going. Who are we waiting yeah, on? Yeah, I believe. Who are we waiting on? Da, 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 da. <clears throat> See, I was kind of surprised that Commandos asked me to cast for this, because I've never really done anything like that before. Don't don't worry. It's it's really not uh, as difficult as you might think. It's intimidating the first time, but uh, literally all it is is going, "Wowie, that was amazing!" and mm. pretending <laughs> that you know what you're talking about. At least that's what I do. Hey, I'm I'm good at the second part. Okay. I'm pretty damn good at okay. bullshitting my way through sounding like there, I'm doing th something. Then then you know what? You are you are like eighty percent of the way there. Perfect. That I can deal with. But yeah, I'll okay. be I'll be along with you for the last for the last few matches, or for the yeah, finals. This, the, the first two are split, and then yes. we're gonna be together for the last two. Yes. So probably for the last two, you can go wowie, and I'll just pretend I know what I'm talking about, and uh, it should work out. We perfect. will we will make it work. Trust me. We will indeed. All right. Let me see here. How he is too loud. Who is too loud? Am I is too loud? Nemo too loud. I can turn I can turn Nemo down a little bit. Alright, we're gonna go with 85-ish percent. That ought to work. Oh, yeah, all my sound settings are weird since I moved. Oh well. Not a big deal. Yeah, sound settings are always a pain in the ass. Mm hmm Okay. So <clears throat> yeah, we're just waiting. Oh, someone left our lobby. What? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> what have we got? We have Mr. Lackey Hacky Sacky Tacky Man. And he says, By the way, Nemo, you can pronounce my name in its entirety the entire time. <laughs> no way I will be doing that. No. Sorry. No. Sorry, Mr. Lackey. Yeah. That's... I might even just call him. I might even just call him Mister, just to spite him. Mister, Mister, 
I like that. Yeah. Mr. Mister. So this goes. We got some good looking teams. Uh, yeah, I was I was ta uh, talking about that a little bit earlier. I, I was looking at just everybody that was in the rooms in in the, for the team so far, and it's like I I can't see anybody that I wouldn't want on my own team just in a random pug game. Yeah, and, I mean, and and all of the teams are relatively scary too, which is admittedly something that's kind of unusual for uh, for the the tournaments that I've been a part of so far. There's there's always kind of been one like really strong favorite even if it hasn't been like just a runaway favorite true there, there's there's always been one that you kind of it's, it's a decent chance it'll be them but there's always been there's always been upsets and i i suspect that we will see at least one upset yeah i'm expect i'm expecting some wacky comps actually yeah uh, I, I know some of these people and they will they'll pick just strange stuff and make it work yeah we've got some we've got some very very experienced individuals who can pull off all sorts of crazy stuff if they really want to we've even we've even got some devs on one of the team i mean i know it's Eris on team uh what's the whole name team cleanest, cleanest euro, euro tr so, trash euro, yeah clean cleanest euro trash uh i don't know what the u stands for <laughs> I'm just gonna call him Team Cleanest from here on out. Man, I cannot be bothered with stupid long names. Yeah. I'm not that good. Uh, my memory's not that good. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Alrighty. So we have got all of our guys. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the other room. Okay. We've got everyone here as well. We will be beginning shortly. Oh, see you in, a, in an hour or so. <laughs> see ya. Good luck. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to begin. <coughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry about coughing. Gonna try and keep that down. Alrighty, so we've got a one of our bands in. Just waiting on Team TDA to give me their ban, so that I may reveal both of them at the same time for uh, the purposes of letting each team know what's up. What's up? What's up? You know, we gotta know. We gotta know what the bands are. Because these bands are going to apply to both teams. So far, I got one. I need the other one. <clears throat> Alrighty. What a twist. What a twist. We have one ship band. All right. Alrighty. 
Excitement button is coming in, ladies and gentlemen. We have already had a bit of a twist in this, our first match of the day. Team 03 versus TBA. Both teams elected to ban the Aegis. It's a very, very scary ship. I totally understand why both teams wanted to get rid of it. You have a heavy, relatively, t not, not super tanky ship. Uh, that has a smart gun, which it's a smart gun. It's it's painful to deal with. Doubly so for healers. Uh, it's got the ability to shield allies for I believe it's seventy percent damage reduction. Seven, seven, yeah, it's been nerfed recently. Seventy percent damage reduction, um, as well as a huge AOE death ball that it can use to absolutely murder. Uh, light ships that stand in the way so it can very 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 easily uh, get in a position where it can win gamma for you if 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 it uh, is able to get its death ball off and hit at least one ship conquest mode alrighty there we are we are going to be seeing Persephone's embrace in beta and pillars of Erebus in alpha both absolutely lovely lovely sectors so what are we going to see from either of these teams so far all right looks like we're gonna have a gladiator and yep gladiator and paladin coming in for team 03 what are we gonna have from tva tva had starts off with a raven and a super lifter that raven is going to be doing lots and lots of no favors for that paladin a paladin already a very energy hungry ship with its uh, healing ballista and plasma field the raven is just going to make it that much more painful to deal with a pioneer and an interceptor coming out 403 pioneer very just solid all-around ship the interceptor a little bit on ooh and a reaper pioneer for uh, TVA now the pioneer it makes sense it's just a solid ship it's got decent health it's got decent damage it's got a little bit of burst damage and it can reveal the sectors which is just it, it's not something you can discount it's a huge advantage when used correctly so I'm not surprised to see them on either team and a Leviathan on both team Wow all right so O3 going with the double heavy with the gladiator and Leviathan a Paladin, Interceptor, and Pioneer to round that out versus TBA's Raven, Superlifter, Reaper, Pioneer, and Leviathan. It looks, hmm, it looks like what's, uh, what O3 is really going to be going for is going to be trying to use the Gladiator as just presence. All it's going to, it's going to, it's going to wander to a spot. It's probably the mid mining, uh, mid mining station. Uh, anchor itself there with its shield and just go, hey, look, I'm going to do a lot of DPS to you. And you can't really kill me because I'm going to have my paladin buddy with me. You can't you can't really do anything. Uh, coupled with the fact that you've got the burst damage from the Leviathan and the, and the uh, jump buoy, I am expecting a lot of... Uh, use of that jump buoy to get the entirety of O3 around the map use it use it for split pushing out of TVA it honestly looks like they're just going to be going with overwhelming damage I mean pioneer Reaper those are DPS machines Reaper's got a little bit of survivability thanks to its shroud um, the Raven and Leviathan beam combo is just is it's something you cannot ignore and the super lifter has decent damage output and decent tankiness for a healer here we go as we begin the first match of three potential matches in TVA versus O3 all right so where's the three stack it looks like the three stack for both teams is going to be in beta so that's where we're going to be all right, Reaper, Raven, and Pioneer versus Paladin, Interceptor, Pioneer, and Gladiator. A four stack in beta. O3 leaving the Leviathan off on its own. 
That is a very interesting move. Early, early beam out on that interceptor. Lots of damage coming in to that interceptor. He's gonna go ahead and hide behind that mining station. Lots of DPS also coming in from O3. As soon as they just pick a target and go for it, they're gonna be able to kill it. It's just, are they gonna be able to catch it? Right now, that interceptor is taking a whole lot of damage. Axaw has taken down Mr. Bear in the other lane. Looks like Mr. Bear was trying to drop a jump point, but we'll end up getting beamed for it. Zio in the Reaper jumping back. Gonna go ahead and repair. Doesn't want to get murdered. O3 standing back in the mid midpoint. They don't really want to do anything. They've got the midpoint. They don't need to push forward and risk having themselves get murdered. They've got Axelorus here in the Gladiator pushing forward, doing his thing. Hey, I'm really tanky. I've got a lot of DPS. Yeah, I can't move very fast, but you know what? You have to pay attention. And paying attention to him, they are using that level advantage to just eat right through Axelorus' health bar. And he goes down to, to concentrated fire. More damage coming out. I really don't think O3 is going to be able to do a whole lot right here due to the fact that they are still level 0 on the hull. Centaurus in that interceptor about to go down there. He goes. in the Pioneer right here. He needs to back off, but is he going to be able to make it out and not die? It doesn't look like it. He's receiving fire from that Reaper, from that Raven, from the Pioneer. I really don't think he's going to be able to make it out. I could be wrong. There he goes, going for the jump. Lots of damage coming in. Is he going to be able to make it out? No! Taken down. That is even more minerals in favor of TBA. TBA doing very very well so far they are a level up but only for a little while currently they have a lead of about 600 minerals that's not insurmountable but this early in the game especially since they've just kind of killed o3 piecemeal they're just going to be able to slowly pick them off one by one provided they stay together Exagoras getting absolutely cut down right here yeah, he's in a gladiator, but unless he's going to anchor up, he's not going to be able to take a whole lot of fire. And TBA is doing plenty of damage from range. We have Gamma 1 coming up. O3 owns the entirety of Alpha, one mining base in Beta. But they are all on top of Gamma 1. Only Axagoras is down be down for another 15 seconds. He won't be here until after Gamma comes up. Are they going to be able to even out the numbers between themselves and TBA? Right now, Cylon Raptor in his Super Lifter is rather low. I'm not sure that they're going to be able to pull off getting anybody. Centaurus in that interceptor is a very, very tempting target. He's got no defenses and he's a very very high DPS target. I would not be surprised to see him being focused. Oh, and Zeo getting focused in his Reaper. Going down to 20% health. Tons of damage coming in. Axagor is finally back on the scene. Currently, TBA is in a worse position. They have much lower health. Mr. Bear pushing through. Getting beamed for it. Is he going to go down before he takes it to BS down? Yes, he is. That is now currently in favor of TBA. They're still really hurting, but are they going to be able to survive long enough? Oh, there we go. They're still in the lead by one. Zeo going down. Cylon Raptor at 40%. Gamma secured by TBA. I'm really, really not sure. Ooh. O3 is in a position that they want to be in right now. They have even mining, uh, mining bases right now, and they're actually pretty even when it comes to minerals. However, because TBA has 
Gamma 1, they are going to be able to successfully fight O3. However, because they've taken so much damage in acquiring Gamma, they might be able, or O3 might be able to just take them out. There goes the Pioneer. So TA4, that is one more ship that does not have Gamma 4 TVA. Are they going to be able to increase that lead? It doesn't look like it. Things are going to remain even as far as minerals go. Mr. Bear getting taken down. He was able to take down one of the enemy ships with Gamma, but that's really not enough. Axelor is showing up late right there on the side. Just going one on one with Zeo right here. I don't think he's going to be able to take him out even with all that extra defense he's going to get from his emplacement. Zeo's just going to be able to back off, jump out at his own leisure because of that shroud. And he's going to be completely fine. Alright, we're going over to Beta where Centaurus just got blapped while trying to take Ah, not trying, successfully taking that mining base. TVA needs to go on the defensive. They currently only own one mining base, about to own a second in Alpha. They were able to secure Gamma, but it really wasn't enough for them to be able to secure much of a lead. O3 currently has just a little bit more in minerals. It's just, it's just about 300, which is no more than a kill. But if they're able to capitalize on that once they hit level 6 and do something with it, that could potentially swing the game very, very wildly. Lots of people jumped and jumping, shifting around. A jump buoy going down from... Axon? No. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it is there. It just doesn't show up on the button. So we do have a jump buoy down here in beta. For TVA, is anybody going to take advantage of it? It doesn't look like it. They are being engaged in Alpha, and they went ahead and or O3 went ahead and took out that uh, beacon. Axaw jumping out just at the extreme range of O3. He's going to be all right. Raven jumping out behind cover. He's going to be fine. This is, this is just very, very coordinated play on the part of TVA. However, even with the amount of coordination that's coming through in it, right now, uh, in Alpha, they just uh, ganged up on Mr. Bear and shredded him apart. But even with this uh, coordination that we're seeing, O3 is still holding their own. These are not, these are not folks at their first rodeo. Centaurus going in, being very, very aggressive, but he's pulling out, jumping back. Currently, mo more mining bases owned by O3. They are currently up still by about uh, 400 minerals now. A, a small lead, but a lead nonetheless. Both teams have achieved level 6. Got Gamma 2 coming up here in about a minute and a half. Is Gamma 2 going to be the turning point for this game? I really don't know at this point. This game is still way, way, way too early to call. Yes, O3 absolutely made some mistakes early on. They got torn apart piecemeal, went in one by one, and were just shredded. But they were able to, even though they didn't get Gamma, still kind of make even split off of it. Are they going to be able to get themselves an advantage in Gamma 2? Oh, the entirety of TDA in Beta right now. Only one member of O3 in Alpha. The other four are currently... Oh, getting pushed around some Taurus goes down. He's going to be up in time for Gamma 2, but right now we are seeing a very, very Commanding push from TVA to have their focus targets down, and they are going to get them. That is a dead pioneer. KCPK going down. Who are they going to go for next? Are they going to go for the Leviathan? Are they going for the Paladin? 
Paladin appears to be the current focus. Are they going to just pull out and go for Gamma right now? Gladiator coming in on the side, doing damage to that Raven. Is he going to take him out? It looks like he's not. Oh no. TVA in a fantastic position for Gamma right here. O3 has yet to even get in to the sector. Oh, there we go. We have our first m member of O3 in the sector. However, four members of TVA currently in the bubble. That is a very, very commanding Gamma 2 by them. Almost completely unopposed. They're just going to sit here and go ahead and take apart members of O3 that have poked their nose out. Mr. Bear in that Leviathan currently getting focused down. Is he going to go down? It doesn't look like it. Instead, it looks like Axaw is getting focused down. Will he make it out? Yes, he will. That was very, very close for TVA. They didn't have their Raven up, so that is one member of their team that does not have Gamma 2, but the other four got it unopposed and, and got out with it just fine. Going Alpha right now, where we see the middle mine has been captured. Superlifter pushing forward. Cylon Raptor being very, very aggressive. He's gonna go ahead and fall back now that he's captured that last mine before he dies. We see three members of O3 responding to the push in Alpha. They are currently ahead by about 500 minerals even though they are still on the back foot when it comes to Gamma. Only one member of O3 in beta right the moment, with two members of TBA present. Three members of TBA present in Alpha. All right. Not a whole lot going on at the moment. People just capturing mines. Staying in defensible positions. A small engagement here between uh, TA4 and Satora sticking his nose out. Oh, that's not a wise move. In an interceptor, not when you're flanked by a Raven, especially. Lots of damage coming in. Is he going to go down? It doesn't look like he's going to go down at this particular moment in time. Oh, Delta Scorpio up there at the top. He's going to be taken out by the Pioneer while Sephoris goes down. Cylon Raptor in his Super Lifter. Jumping New back. Ship on screen. Very, very risky move right there with the Pioneer right next door. But that was the only member of O3 in the sector. We're going to go over uh, to Beta now. Where we see... Mr. Bear here getting stuck right in as the fusion beam comes in on Centaur, or excuse me, Obi-Wan. Wild. Zeo gets taken out by Mr. Bear. Leviathan on Reaper action. You really don't want to be in that position. Oh, and the Magma Lance comes in right as he's beginning to jump. That seems like a tactical suicide right there. They were in a bad position, they needed to regroup, and just sitting there, getting blasted, was going to waste way too much time. Uh. Goodness. Alright, let's play. Play your names. Where are player names? Tell me where it is and I'll turn it on. Exactly where it is. Alright, there we go. Centaurus in his interceptor using that jump beacon laid down by Mr. Bear. A strong push on to beta by O3. Oh no, Zeo in his Reaper getting blasted. Oh, taken down right at the end right there as he's jumping. We see Pioneer jumping in on the back. Is he going to get shredded? Yes, he is going to get shredded. 
however, O3 are pushing into the base. The Taurus goes down. And we see a very strong push not accomplish a whole lot right at the moment. Oh no. Obi Wan Kenobi getting taken out. Raven going down. Pioneer going down. The entirety of O3 almost going down. Axgoras the only one to make it out in his gladiator. Both teams suffered heavy losses, however. Right now, O3 with all of those, all of those deaths, all of those 30 plus second timers are not going to be in a good position to secure Gamma as they're coming in. So TVA currently has the best ability to get in position before Gamma. 33 seconds remain with several members of O3 still down. TVA coming in everybody able to use that jump point so they are already all inside the bubble except for the raven who is coming up just right now hot shots going out not a whole lot of damage out on either team both between 70 now plus 80 percent there we go fusion beam coming in from mr bear on the side he went out of position is that gonna pay off doesn't look like it Centaurus getting out of position, getting beamed by more than one source. Centaurus goes down. Interceptor, a fantastic ship, but very, very defenseless in situations like that. TDA currently has the advantage. They don't need to be aggressive. They just need to survive right now. However, are they going to be able to pull that off with that low health Leviathan? There he goes. Oh, and that is one dead Leviathan, so they have currently paid one medium ship for a heavy. Is this going to go TVA's way? Currently, it is taking very slowly towards O3. Who is O3 going to focus on? They've got to take somebody out. There we go. Their second target, a pioneer going down. It is now heavily in favor of O3. Are they going to be able to make it? KCPK currently getting focused by multiple targets. The Raven goes down. Pioneer goes down. Two versus three with two members of TBA being at half of their health. O3 gets Gamma 3. It looks like they're going to be in a very, very strong position to go straight into the enemy base. In fact, that's what we're seeing right now. Three members having Gamma 3 jumping right in and beginning to cap 20%, 20, 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%, 70, 80, 90, and that is the game, ladies and gentlemen. TVA putting forth a fantastic first first like 90% of the game but right at gamma 3 o3 were able to pull it back together and take this first game of three potential matches that was an absolutely beautiful play right there at the end they were able to just coordinate and just completely take advantage of the fact that just they just had more hit points than TVA, that double heavy comp, doing work at the end right there. An impressive, impressive game from both teams. I, I, I would not have thought that O3 was about to pull it out right there, but you know what? I was wrong. I was dead wrong. Well played to both teams. Oh, wow.
Okay. Wow. That was that was an intense match. That was an absolutely fantastic match right there. All right. A five minute break is called for, or or, or if both teams want one, uh, there will be a five minute break in between each match. An absolutely brilliant show from both teams right there. Truly, truly impressive. All right, let me see. Screenshot should be posted here pretty soon. <laughs> Need a supercut of those. If you folks would like uh, to view the uh, all of this footage, I will be uploading it onto my YouTube page. If you would like the raw files themselves, uh, please get in contact with me. Um, of course, I it will have my voice over it, but other than that, it won't have anything else other than game sound. Um, but if you if somebody wants to uh, do uh, a uh, supercut or something like that, you, I'm more than willing to discuss getting you my footage. Whew. Whew. <clears throat> Alrighty. So that is the first game of three. After this, I fully expect to see different bands Maybe, maybe, maybe not, uh, maybe not seeing the Aegis getting banned out. I imagine we might see a Raven ban from 03. Now, the question is, is TVA going to say, okay, look, they might, they might try and ban the Raven away from us because the double, the double beam, the double beam meme, um, just, uh, just was, was way too good. Uh, we really don't want to deal with that, so maybe O3 will ban that out. Maybe we shouldn't ban the, or maybe we should ban the, the Aegis, or maybe we shouldn't ban the Aegis because we want to play it. But I mean, if if we don't ban it, they're going to take it too. So I fully I fully suspect that we won't see a double Aegis ban. It's just a gut feeling. I could be wrong. I've been wrong in the future, or in the past, in the future. I will be wrong in the future. As you can tell, I can uh, form coherent thoughts on occasion. Most of the time, not though. But uh, yeah, uh, so far, I mean, the, normally, normally, uh, I'm just, I'm kind of. This is a very strange feeling for me, because so far, with most of the tournaments that I've tested, they've started kind of slow. Where the first, you know, the first couple of rounds were kind of not exactly raffle stompy. But uh, you know, it was pretty clear who was going to win. This was this was a nail biter. This was a nail biter. Yeah, it looked like TVA was doing really well and kind of dominating O3 when it. But that's only true when it came to Gamma One and Gamma Two. For the rest of the game, they were actually keeping it pretty even. Right, so the initial results have been posted. Yeah, and uh, looking at the stats here. Total takedowns by either team. O3 only had 15 to TVA's 22. Takedowns aren't everything. Takedowns are not everything. Because, I mean, they had basically 50% more. TVA basically had 50% more than, uh, than uh, O3 did. But they, were, they still ended up getting it, themselves into a position in the end where it just it didn't work out for them. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, I, I I don't suspect we're gonna see an interceptor next match because while the interceptor is a very good ship, it lacks enough in defense that it personally I think that that is what puts the Reaper just a smidge, not 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 a whole lot, but just edges out the Reaper as the better pick of the two ships. Uh, 
of course, that is opinion on my part. The the uh, the interceptor does come with the fantastic utility of those concussion missiles, and that's those are those, those are things you really cannot afford to ignore. Uh, all right, our five minute break is about done. That is the first game that is complete. We have not had the uh, first match from the CEU T and uh, or CETU, excuse me, and uh, Team Horizon match. So we don't know how they have gone so far. All right, we have our first ban in. This is, it's it's a bit of a surprise. I can't reveal it to you guys just yet, just in case it uh, takes longer than two minutes for the other team to decide what they want. But I've got one of them, and it's, it is not one that I expected. Not one that I expected at all. And uh, yeah, this is, this, is, this is very interesting. This is very, very interesting. All righty. Waiting on ban number two to come through once everybody is back. Caps win the game. Cats win the game. That is for sure. Actually, let's let's double check that. Who had more caps? Yeah, 03 edged out TVA by three caps, 27 to 24. Man. And uh, oh wow, TVA having 28 support points. To 03's 11. Woo! Alrighty. Alright, bands coming out, and and what I thought might happen has happened. Oh, oh hold on. We have, this is the first time in memory that we've seen a Reaper ban. I mean, we, we might have we might have had that in the, in the past, but I personally cannot remember an instance of a Reaper ban. So it's very interesting to see. Oh, wow, this is, this is, this is truly interesting. That is not something I was expecting in the slightest. But uh, it's definitely very interesting. I imagine O3 is uh, having to th rethink a little bit since uh, Centaurus might have gone for. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Can I turn on player names? Show player names. Can I do that? Doesn't look like I can. Oh well. At least not right there. Thank you very much for the follows, folks. I do, in fact, appreciate them. I hope you guys are you guys are finding this interesting. Um, this is certainly a very interesting uh, series so far. With the first game of this potential three-game series complete in favor of O3. So for this match, we have an Congress Aegis Mode. ban by O3 and a Reaper ban by TVA. Very, very interesting bans. 
Very, very interesting bands. I mean, the, the Aegis was already banned last game, and I, I expected to see it again, just not the double, like we already saw. But uh, but the Reaper band was truly, truly a surprise. Uh, it's, it's very interesting. All right, we see Centaurus going back out in his Interceptor again. Obi-Wan taking out his Paladin once more. A Pioneer and Paladin. All right, so we've got our first change. We've got a Paladin on TVA instead of the Superlifter. Oh boy, Metagon. New ship on screen. Oh boy, Metagon. Centurion from Mr. Bear. Axagoras going with that Leviathan, so they're trading out their uh, Gladiator. An Interceptor and a Brawler. Wow! It looks like a complete buzzsaw from TVA right now. And a Brawler. Oh, oh my. Oh my, this is, this is very interesting. This is very interesting. Now what's, what are we gonna see from TVA? Are we gonna see a Leviathan? Potentially a Centurion. Because I mean, with that kind of DPS, definitely, definitely wouldn't be bad to have a focus target. Maybe even a Colossus just for the crowd control. That would be, that would be interesting. A Destroyer? What? What is this? What is this? I I don't remember. Ah, oh. actually no, I do remember. I do remember a game where we had a destroyer it's because Hog Driver was playing. That game was best was blessed by the Hog Driver. To to only name not both. Okay. Alright, I will do that right now. Alright, so HUD. Both. Ship name, player name. Hey. Hey. Uh, on untargeted ships. Player name. Give me player names. Yes, there we go. Much better. All right. There we go. We have everything doing plenty of good. There we go. See? See? Everything's great now. All right. Where's our three stacks? Our three stacks are in beta, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> All right, so we've got Axel, Silent Raptor, and Zio in here. Man, that O got cut off. All righty, versus Obi Wan, Bear, and KCPK. Man, this is a whole lot easier. Thanks, guys. Hey, oh, already we have some retreats coming in. Obi Wan going down to half health. KCPK. Getting a Goss driver to the side of his ship. Not the best start in the world. 403. However, Mr. Bear doing his splody thing. He's going to get himself at least two ships. There we go. That is a very, very exploded Centurion. Lots of hurt going out on Cylon Raptor right there. Zio taking a fair bit of damage as well. He's getting focused down by the Brawler and Centurion at this point. Plenty of damage out, coming out on Zero, but not enough to actually kill him. Both Paladins doing a fantastic job of keeping their targets healed. However, KCPK in that Brawler. Rotate that armor, man. Don't want to get blapped by that, uh, by that Destroyer. He does a lot of damage. He's just a big version of you. Plenty of damage coming out from Axaw. Looks like we are going to have First Blood KCPK going down. At least I think that's First Blood. Ah, oh, well. In any case, first kill we have seen in Beta. The entirety of Beta currently owned by O3. That'll change here in a moment. But still, a fantastic effort by O3, even though they lost somebody. Hmm. 
they're able to get just a little bit ahead with their mineral count. Poking coming out here from the Centurion. Not a whole lot of damage going to be coming through the shield for the Centurion that goes up. Mr. Bear doing his best to uh, just not get dead while his backup shows up. KCPK and Centaurus showing up to back up their heavy. Axaw needs to get out because in this particular position he is going to get very, very shredded. Destroy a very, very strong, very defensible ship, but uh, not against a brawler in, in an interceptor. Not when they have nothing else to shoot. Centurion damage up on top of that just makes it that much more terrifying to deal with. Mm-hmm. Cylon Raptor currently the only one holding on to Beta. However, <clears throat> looks like the entire... Oh, hey! Forgot you gotta do the opposite. The entirety of TVA was here holding on to Alpha. It looks like each team o owns a uh, lane right now. <clears throat> Mm. Centaurus doing his best little hidey hidey game. Ghost Driver coming out, hitting on that destroyer. Lots of damage coming out. That hook gets landed and all oh, just reeled right in and just torn apart. That buzzsaw doing exactly as advertised. Looks like their next target is Delta Scorpion in his brawler. A very, very easy target to hit. Oh! Not a whole lot of mobility on TVA's side. In fact, none. They have no mobility ability. And I think uh, that uh, is going to end up hurting them because they're going to be super easy to hit. Especially with the extra damage coming out from Mr. Bear in that Centurion. That is going to be a whole lot of damage that's going to be very, very easy to land. Currently, a lack of focus fire is not doing O3 any favors. They finally cleaned up and decided to focus one target. Are they going to be able to take out the Pioneer? It looks like they're going to be able to do it. Fusion Beam coming out. Lots of damage. Wow! An absolutely stompy Gamma 1 by O3. Almost an entire level ahead this early in the game. They're behind in mining points, but, but they're doing all right otherwise. <clears throat> oh boy. A very, very drastically different match from what we saw last game. 3 with a very early and commanding lead. Uh, looks like we've got the uh, hitbox bug for our uh, little mining vessels here at the mid mine. Fun fact about that, they're not actually invulnerable, it's just the hitbox for them is displaced off to the side. Oh, if only that character. Whoa! Lots of damage coming out on Zeo right here. Fusion beaming right into the face of Zeo. Tons and tons of damage. Zeo reduced to about 30% health. He needs to get out of here. He is not in a good way. There's a strong push going on in beta right now. Centaurus comes around and starts laying into Zeo. Is Zeo, yep, Zeo goes down. Not a whole lot of damage done to Centaurus. Delta Scorpio over there in his brawler. Cylon Raptor in his Paladin. And Obi-Wan coming up in the rear, doing plenty of healing to Centaurus. He ought to be safe here. But O3 are in a very, very strong position. Are they going to be able to take advantage of this Gamma buff? Delta Scorpio pushed out very, very far right here. He's not in a good position. He's getting all those damage debuffs on him. He's got two heavy DPS ships just laying into him. Magma Lance comes in. 
fusion beam comes in, but it was unnecessary. A little bit of damage on Cylon Raptor right there. Shield comes up from Mr. Bear. This is a fantastically coordinated push. We're about to see level 6 from 03. And a forward base that they can just sit at. Wow, that is that is very impressive. Now, what is going to happen right now? Are we going to see TVA respond to this strong push? Or are they going to just, just going to mind their own business and sit in their base while somebody pushes beta. Who do we got in beta right now? Axaw and his destroyer. So right now, O3 really doesn't have any reason to push inside of TDA's base because they know, they know for a fact that the entire team will be waiting there, but looks like they're gonna go in Nope, they all went home. How about that? They went and responded. They didn't need to push. It was way too close to Gamma. No sense in pushing in and potentially losing all of your team just at the chance, the chance of an early victory. Not when you're in this strong of a position. You've got half a level lead. They still ha uh, TBA still hasn't reached six yet. So they're going to capture as many of these mining bases as they can, hold on to what they can. Who's over here by themselves? Mr. Bear and his Centurion, currently in a bit of trouble. Is he going to be able to get out? He needs to be able to jump, but he can't do that with his shield up. Is he going to escape? He can do it, he just needs to go ahead and get it done. No, he's gonna go for the AoE. He's gonna go and get some damage. He's gonna try and take somebody out. And the explosion comes out. Only Zero. Or Zio being hit. Defense drones coming out from Obi-Wan. I don't know why Mr. Bear has it left. It looks like they're actually gonna be aggressive. Oh! Some damage on that Pioneer. Wasn't the best gamma use of that online. fusion beam. Should have held on to it to be ready for a Gamma, where two members of O3 are already present Centaurus and KCPK. Two high DPS ships already there. Axaw already hooked. He's being drawn in right now. Is Cylon Raptor going to be quick about it? There he goes. Purging that harpoon. Very, very smart move. However, they are already on top of the destroyer. Mr. Bear in the back right there, getting absolutely cut apart. Not sure what the thought was there. But right now, TBA has the advantage at Gamma. Lots of damage coming out onto Axaw. Oh, KCPK. Oh, blocking his allies. Goss Driver right there. He needs to rotate that armor if he expects to survive, but he doesn't. So that is even more in favor of TBA now. They have lost one, but that is still one less than what O3 has lost. 64, 65% Centaurus goes down. That is going to be Gamma 2 in favor of TBA. Delta Scorpion gonna go down. Potentially to Axagoras here. Oh, the ram coming in. Is he gonna get it? No. It looks like that's working. Almost, almost was able to survive it. Mr. Bear is back up so they can start getting extra damage onto a target. Looks like the focus is silent raptor, however, Axagoras is gonna go down. Obi-Wan is dipping out. Mr. Bear is all by himself at this point. Woo! It doesn't appear to be going particularly well at this point for O3. However, however, there are still 3,000, well, 2,500 minerals up. 2,500 minerals up. That's most of a level. In fact, that's about half of a level, so they are still in a very, very good position. Yes, they didn't get Gamma, but they were able to deny several members of TVA Gamma. 
Currently, it appears only three of them have it. Yep, only three. Which, while dangerous, isn't the end of the world. They can deal with three targets with Gamma. You just gotta be careful. Mr. Bear out on his own right now, getting into a dangerous position once more. Mr. Bear being... I'm not gonna say brave, because he's, he's constantly getting himself into situations where people have to come and rescue him, and that is really not something you need from a, such a teamwork-oriented ship as the uh, Suturian here. Lots of damage coming out, being focused on Mr. Bear. He's been fully healed. The entirety of TVA is up at this particular moment in time. Mr. Bear putting shots onto Delta Scorpion. Focus onto that brawler is intense. Exegorus with the fusion beam on him, but he's far enough away that he doesn't take the full brunt of it. Exegorus poking his face out. Are they going to switch targets? Mm, yes, they are. On to Zio. Lots of damage coming in. On to that interceptor. Mr. Bear moving right in, getting in position for the explosion. He's going to shove everybody out, do a fair amount of damage. Put some more DPS onto Zio. Currently, nobody has died, which is very surprising in such an intense... Oh, such an intense engagement. But finally, Zio goes down to a Gauss Driver from Centaurus. Axol about to go down as well. Level 8 doing work, 403 at this point. Goodness me, we've got an entire team push from O3. They own almost all of the map. They're going to move forward. They're going to get this forward base. However, are they going to jump into the enemy base? At this, position, at this point in time, they could do it. They've got 25 seconds about on the destroyer, another 15 on the interceptor. They could move in and potentially get one of... TBA while they're still in their base, and it looks like that's exactly what they're gonna go and do. They're gonna try and get one of these guys. So at the very least, maybe they can, maybe they can end it right here. But at the very least, they're going to try and get one of these guys dead, so they don't have to deal with them. Centaurus hooked and reeled in by Delta Scorpion. Lots of damage going in on that brawler. Fusion beam coming in. That is one dead brawler, unless Silent Raptor can keep him up. He's staying a little bit in cover, not receiving the full brunt of O3's oh power. He goes down. Currently in favor of O3 oh by one ship. 50% cap. Mr. Bear jumping out. What is O3 oh doing at this particular point in time? There we go, the entire rest of the team now following. Ascor is being the last one to jump. Is he going to make it out? Looks like he is the entirety of O3 makes it out. They capture 57% of the enemy base. They're in a very, very strong position right now. They are going to have level 9 before Gamma 3. And in fact, they're already moving into position for Gamma 3. Gamma online in 60 seconds. So, in fact, if I was O3 right now, I would go ahead and jump back to base. So that they could go ahead and have level 9 ready, because that is going to be a huge buff once they actually get their hands on it. Mr. Bear getting a little bit of damage on him. Lots of damage coming out on the Centaurus because he was jumping. They're all not jumping together. Looks like two of them are going to stay in here. Mr. Bear coming right back now that he's got level 9. Centaurus coming back with level 9. Not healed up though. That's not the best position to be in. Alright Mr. Bear, now's when you need to throw up that shield. Centaurus has gone down getting nuked while he was jumping didn't do him any favors. Gamma 
All that damage being soaked up by Mr. Bear right there. As soon as that is down, he's going to be wanting to use his explosion to go ahead and do lots of damage, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to pull it off. All the focus fire is going in on that brawler. Brawler goes down. Axaw still up just barely. Mr. Bear going for the explosion to try and push TVA out and do a lot of damage. Are they going to be able to pull it off? Yes, they have been pushed out. Mr. Bear, however, is going to go down. And it looks like we have a reverse sweep. Well, not reverse sweep. It's, 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 it's one game. It's one game. It's one game. But we've got a game of three victory from TBA this time, as opposed to 03. And they're going in. Not a whole lot that TVA or that 03 can do about it. Oh, well, they might be able to pull it off. TVA is fairly chewed up, and they don't have level 9 yet. Okay, so they still might be able to pull this off. However, 03 is in such a position that they could still survive. Three of them are up versus three of TVA, and TVA is in dire straits. Belt Scorpio landing a hook onto KCPK. He's getting reeled in. All the damage, however, coming out onto Delta Scorpion. Is he gonna go down? It looks like it. That is one dead brawler. Two dead brawlers. Ah, 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 ah. Zeo getting absolutely pounded, not being in cover where he is. Oh boy. Look at that. TA4 getting out, Silent Raptor getting out. They saw. Oh! Thrown by the physics. They saw the writing on the wall right there. Uh oh. Paladin almost going down. If he had stayed just a few more moments, he would have been down. Oh! Almost falling over there. That would have been bad. You guys would have laughed, though. Alrighty. Two members of TVA still hold on to a Gamma 3 buff. <sighs> Are we going to see them pull it off? They're, we're very, very close at this point. TVA, before the next Gamma, is going to have level 9. Everybody is going to be on a even footing. Are we going to see a victory from 03, or are we going to see TVA clawing their way back into the fight, pushing this series to a game three? Obi-Wan jumping back, Centaurus jumping back as well, just trying to prevent that level nine from coming in as long as they can. Four people from TVA in beta from 03 in Alpha. It looks like they're all jumping back to respond to the push that is going on in Alpha. However, the entirety of 03 is spread out, so if... Yeah, if 03 gets caught right here, that could very well be the game. Delta Scorpio, or Scorpion, you're gonna be Delta Scorpio from now on. Delta Scorpio <laughs> coming out first, getting lots of damage in, but lots of damage coming into Centaurus as well. Centaurus goes down. Delta Scorpion still doing all right. He's hanging on just barely. Axagoras is staying around. He's going to end up getting blapped. Mr. Bear almost going down, but not quite. KCPK standing, staying alive. Oh, it got opened. 90%. 95. Oh, the... From 03! Wow! That was fantastic! Whoa! I wasn't expect. Oh, they as soon as they capped it, the entirety of TVA came in to fight. 03 guys just went in the back, took it. 2-0 for 03. Wow! Wow! Very, 
very, very tense game. And the scoreboards show just how dominant 03 were this time around. Leading by three kills, uh, more than twice the support points, and 10, 12, 14 more captures. 14 more captures. I can numbers. I can numbers. Wow. That was amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Congratulations to O3. 2 and 0 in the first leg of the tournament. Oh man. I uh, I can't wait to see in chat when you guys catch up with me and see see how they won oh boy <laughs> man I thought that that was gonna just devolve into a fight right there at the end but no 03 did exactly what they should have and they they backdoored they backdoored when TVA thought they were gonna stand there and fight well played well played. Oh. Um. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after a break, it looks like we're going to go do some double casting. So that way, you know, I'm just not sitting here uh, doing nothing. All right. Ah, let's get this done and this and this. Hello. Hello there, Zared. Greetings, Mr. Nemo. All righty. If I could go ahead. How are the uh, How are the Ozone TVA oh, matches? I hardly recommend anybody that did not watch the O3 versus TVA matches watch them because holy crap those were some amazing games my I I as somebody who enjoys watching this game played like better than what I can do I was kind of sitting here like, yeah, yeah 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 oh yeah yeah for was, sure they were, they were amazing matches yeah we've uh i mean obviously we have a one-to-one -one now so everything's a little tense and uh both team we had a lot of technical difficulties in the beginning mm -hmm. uh th we had a lobby bug like four times in a row at oh, least no. and had to re and had to restart clients yeah i, w I was wondering about that since y'all finished your first match so so long it was so late yeah. yeah okay Say and also it's being a bit drawn out due to now it seems they Team Horizon is missing a player. Oh no! Oh no! Which, uh, and uh, there's already been one sub in for Team Euro Trash. Oh. So. Oh my! We're just we're just having we're just having all sorts of all sorts of people issues. Cause I know, oh, I know yeah. one of the people on. Uh, one of the people on Horizon was is one of my moderators, and I know he's stuck at work today. Um, mm. Otherwise, otherwise he'd be here. Um, but man, that 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 sucks. I mean, there's just there's no two ways about it. That it that sucks. Like li life life happens and everything, and I'm not about to blame anybody. But yeah, we, we want to see some games, man. Yeah, it's like come back. Come back! I know it, yeah. it, they're saying they're saying it might be a bit of the salt, but uh, I mean that happens. I get salty just about every time I play, mm -hmm. but you just gotta push through it and play for the team. Yeah, it, so I, mean, I. It's a it's a perfectly human thing to do. We all we everybody. I mean that the the whole reason why to toxicity exists in multiplayer games like this is you are investing an amount of yourself in the outcomes oh, of these games. Very true. Right? Everybody yeah. knows. Yeah, at the end of the day, it, it it's just a game, massive air quotes, but it's not just a game. It's 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 you no. putting when, forth your time you and this, your effort and your passion. Mm -hmm. 
you put to put together this much mental energy to form strategies and comps and stuff like this mm-hmm. and then uh and also the whole team takes a hit from someone else losing their cool as well because then maybe that's a someone that they really need to make a comp work or something like that and even if they do find a replacement they have to rethink everything yeah for the next match yeah like like e- even e- morale morale is so underrated right i mean it, it's 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 a lot it's rather obvious in like professional teams quote unquote i mean cuz if if x and y don't get along clearly you know you're going to have problems on your team but uh, so often so often i've seen games in uh, just regular pug matches fall apart because there was there was one misplay and one misplay is not going to lose the game but it will if mm-hmm. you, if you you know throw your controller down and go hmm yeah if you kind of brood on it or whatever yeah. it's nothing positive will come of that oh absolutely not but we're going to see if we can get another person what? into this or uh, that's someone did ask for the bot uh that if the, if they get a bot, it will be in a max level bot. I think that is what was agreed with. Um. That. So. Well, let's, either that, or we could, or they are going to look for a sub. Let, yeah, because, I was going to say let, let's get in touch with Commando since this is this is his tournament. He is running it. He's the one that has to sign up, has to sign off, and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, okay, they're so they're talking about it right yeah, now. Yeah, currently, currently, what I'm seeing in the Discord is Commandos is reaching out and saying, "Hey, since this is an emergency situation, if if all of the other teams are okay with them pulling in another guy, it's 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 fine." But um, oh, 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 Gateson is. Oh, I see. Him Gateson's typing. here. <gasps> the hero returns. <laughs> came from work so now we see can someone invite can someone invite gates on oh i can't type at all today okay let's get him in and let's get game three started one second hold on i'm getting i'm getting a report of something here Um. Obi Wan, this is MLG queuing at its finest. Mm-hmm. All right. They can work it out among themselves. <laughs> well, that's fine, Bodo. You you will get there someday. You'll get to MLG queuing eventually. You just gotta work at it. Do your best. Okay, we're gonna grab. Gates and for Team Horizon. Yeah, Gates on. No, there was Gates on was originally on Team Horizon, but he was he's been uh, indisposed due to due to uh, work. Uh, uh, so he, he apparently just got home. Okay. Reiterating the bands, and then we will ask for ready. I do hope so. Well, yeah. <laughs> this is going on long. All right. The, oh, so the bands already came through. Yep. Okay. Bands were Brawler and Paladin. Brawler and Paladin. The Paladin band doesn't surprise me. The Brawler band the, uh, does. If you had seen the last match, you would understand why. Errorist mm-hmm. playing Brawler. Uh, with the help of the levy, able to just systematically delete one target at a time, mm-hmm. uh, and they did. They made very good use of it. All right. Yeah, I can. I can definitely see that. Then the 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 
ability to actually pick a target with the brawler is uh oh yeah second, it was it's, it's second to none really all right so let me see i'm on okay i'm on horizon side so let's okay see. yeah what are we gonna see from the teams for the first two ships on either side I do kind of wish they would add uh, a full overview for spectators so you yeah, can see both it's, teams it's pick simultaneously. It's a lot more interesting when uh, all of a sudden, bam, we get to see what we yeah. team picks. A paragon! True. There's a paragon! What? Yep. What's going on right now? <laughs> oh my god! There's a Willis oh. made good use of the paragon last match. Oh. Uh, using the heel suppress on the near beam protector really cut his effectiveness down. Uh, yeah, I can, I can totally see that being an issue. Oh, holy, holy crap, though. I... Is this real life? I mean... Paragon? I'm kind of more... I'm interested in the hunter pick, Whoa. honestly. I, I, I've seen Willis uh, on the Paragon, and that I'm kind of... A, that doesn't really surprise me. But the hunter pick from Infinity should prove interesting. This is This is so bizarre. I would I would never have dreamed to see a uh, yeah we're gonna have a Paragon Hunter blah 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 comp. What? <laughs> oh, you just you just wait and a persecutor. What is what is this? What is this? The did, did, the blink. Uh, I think I think blink comps are real. Clearly, clearly, what has gone on is uh, Team Euro Trash. You're good. You guys are gonna be Team Euro Trash. Sorry, I don't that's care what I've been calling them as well. <laughs> Team Eurotrash clearly has just said, you know what? There's this whole like meta thing. Nah. We're not Don't worry do about it. We're not, yeah, we're not gonna do that. Whereas uh, Team Horizon here has definitely, definitely gone gone with the safe picks. I mean, Super Lifter, yeah. Interceptor, Pioneer, Leviathan, Aegis. The you would you you would never be surprised to see any of those ships. And, no, uh, not really. And what's been interesting is the first two games, Aegis was banned each mm -hmm. game, and now Horizon is going to get them here in the third game. Yeah, we, so we'll see how that works out, especially in the Gamma. We, in, in TVA versus O3, both teams actually banned the Aegis in the first round. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. It they was, really didn't want it. Yeah, no. Nobody nobody wants to deal with the Aegis black, because, yeah. let's be real, it, that death ball. That death ball wins games. It wins games. It you, does. You line that up at, at Gamma, and the enemy team is done. It, they, there's nothing they can do about it except. And with the uh, the relative squishiness from the persecutor mm -hmm. and lifter, it it's going to be devastating if they can connect. Yeah, this that the Aegis is what this game hinges on. Like just everything else being equal, the Aegis is what is going to make this game. Now let me see. Yeah. Let's check the loadout on the Paragon real quick. It has gone with the heal suppression drones, so yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. the 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 super lifter already doesn't have the greatest HPS in the world. No. But I think I think what we're gonna see what we're gonna see is the heal suppression gro drones going down onto the super lifter. Uh, that, uh, of Bodman's. Yeah, to, probably to uh, reduce his self-heal. Yeah. Because Bodman's is known for playing healers very effectively, and he's pretty good at baiting teams out by putting himself in the line of fire. So mm -hmm. if they can reduce his self-heal, then he will fall if he try if he pushes to bait. Uh, alrighty, and here we go. Each team jumping out. Let's see, where's the three lane going to be? That's, that will be my destination. Which, come on. Alright, well we know where one of the three lanes is. <laughs> so, I'm an alpha at the moment. Right. We have Fridgeman, Zero Strike, Willis, and Infinity. Bodman's going out. Alright, three stacks are in beta. Hiker, Air, Earth, and Kent Kenobi here with Charger, Gates on, and Bodman's. Nice, relaxed little lane. Say, so, Willis taking a lot of fire from Fridgeman. And the bombs from the Paragon, not connecting, they just kind of drop their bombs out in open space as Infinity pushes forward for Red Team's third mine. Yeah, Infinity doesn't really have to worry about it. He's, 
in the hunter. The other the other team doesn't have anything any way to really suppress his mobility. He can just yep. he can just take his time and do whatever he needs to. And do. with facing these two forward primary forward focused ships, he can just sit behind them all day and blink around their blind spots. Mm -hmm. Just relatively uncontested, but Willis taking a lot of fire from Fridgeman. Yeah. Interceptor DPS just dumping damage. See how long he can last. Yeah, that's not going to be very long, not with that magma lance coming out. No. Nope. Uh, it doesn't connect, but only just Fridgeman having a lot no. of damage coming in from those bombs. Willis going down though. But Infinity just doesn't care. He's, in the <laughs> He's just he kept everything. poking away. And Team Euro Trash currently in the lead by about 600 minerals. That is not. A small lead. He went took down, or Infinity uh, went took down inf Bridgman. Yep. And in beta, 3v1 at the moment in this fight. Kiker surrounded by Bodman's Charger in Gate Sand. Holding the mid mine, but he's going to lose his life in the process. Yeah, definitely not worth him staying around like he did. No, he definitely could, not. He could make the brave sacrifice, but uh, brave sacrifice and and Charger gonna push up to the third mine with the use of his blink shift buoy. Definitely a good move. Now he's just gonna go ahead and go back home, get upgrades. He's safe. No reason to stay there when. Just uh, so much damage waiting for him. He doesn't get that last mine, though. So no, not quite. Ready. I'm kind of expecting him to play for the previous two matches in this bracket. We've seen him play Sentinel both games to great effect. So my guess is he's going to utilize the Blink Shift buoy and kind of play the Aegis like a Sentinel, capping as often as he can to try to grab a lead, knowing they won't be able to focus him down fast enough when he decides to escape. Definitely, and here we go. Gamma, everybody getting situated. It looks like Charger doesn't quite have enough energy for a death ball. He's not heading oh, back. It's, he's going forward. It's gonna, it's gonna be soon, though. Yeah, he's going forward and poking. He's just gonna go ahead and attack instead of trying to go for the death ball. Will is finally coming in. Who is he gonna start picking on? Looks like Bridgman is currently the target of choice, but nobody's really pushing out. No, guy's standing out on the side, but no one's no one really has the range to go for him right now. No. He's got he's got better range than the persecutor who was on that side. And then we have Kiker and Willis both pushing up on each side. Currently, things are in the favor of Team Euro Trash. They own. Four of the six mining bases, and they're oh, yeah. slowly, slowly ticking up in their capture rate. Death ball coming out from Charger. Is it going to hit anybody? It looks like it's going to hit Infinity, Arist, and Kent. No, Kite. Kent jumps out. Willis just barely missing. Infinity losing about half his health. Arist about a third. The engage comes in. Fridgeman is being focused down. The shield comes out, though, and he's going to take yeah. a lot of damage. Well now. Done. Willis is caught out in the open here. Uh, all it's going to take, and the, the focus is Kent right now, but with that blink, probably be wise to switch focus Bridgman someone else. Down. And he is going to fall down. to the death ball. Kiker is mixed right in. It looks like Horizon is screen. focusing on Infinity going for the squishier target. Infinity going for Bodmans, but getting... A lot of damage applied onto him himself. Charge it, charging up another. How fitting. All the right. death ball is out. Another death ball coming in. Gamma 1 secured by Team Eurotrash. Very, very well done on their part. Gates on getting focused down. He's gonna Took a full in. volley from Farmers. And that will be his end. Kiker taking lots Kiker. of damage. Yeah. Gonna lose his gamma buff. Eating. But it looks like that's the only one. 
Infinity might go down if they don't do something about Charger, but Charger's getting focused. He's and he's go gone. Focused. That is a half of a level lead in favor Over an of Euro Trash. Or an Alpha. Fridgeman capping mid mine. Moving up. I'm gonna try to negate some of the lead that Euro Trash has amassed. Don't think it's going to be enough. Not with the Gamma Buff present for Euro Trash. They're going to be able to just do whatever they like with their mobility. Very, very well played to them. I know it's 1 1 right now, but if you're going to ask me to place a bet, it's not going to be on the horizon. Not right this no, not right this moment. No, the 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 switch might have hurt their comp, might have hurt their comp in the strategy a bit, and they're not coming out as strongly as they were in previous matches. <laughs> Say, Euro Trash pulling ahead a little bit more of a half level lead on Horizon. Right, level six is very very big. Two thousand twenty five hundred minerals and change. Very strong push here in Alpha. Fridgeman jumping home, currently defending by himself. He is not in a good position. Zero Strike shows up, and he is going to be just focused right down. I don't think he is in a... It's not a jump home. That's a UI bug. Yeah. I've noticed that. So, Ken jumping up, try, not quite getting behind covers. Getting hit pretty hard by Gatesan. Able to finally blink behind cover off from where he was stuck from. But Kiker is pushed up very hard and is hitting Gats in. Taking a little bit of a death ball. The primary target of it, however, is Error Rest. And he is going to get out. Ken blinking up the side. Taking cover so he can heal up from a buoy by Error Rest and go for that third mine to alleviate some of the pressure on Kiker, who has remarkably taken very little damage despite being in the midst of three of them for much of this fight. Mm -hmm. Not enough DPS currently present in beta to really deal with Kiker. Not if he's got no. plenty of defense and extra healing. Gates on, getting stuck out, a fusion beam to the face, and then a pioneer persecutor. Jumping on to his pioneer. <laughs> I can work. Ken going to trade for this, most likely. Uh, depends if they can find the damage and Ken can get behind cover fast enough. Yep, they are. He's out of range of Bodmans and Charger currently, but the Aegis is charging. The death ball comes out. See, I don't think we're going to see Kent getting hit. No, Aeris. Dodging out to the side. Yep, there we go. Utilizing his tugboat drones to give him the mobility needed to escape that super weapon. But Paul can win games, but not if you continuously miss. True. Kent healing up in blue team's FOB as mid is contested here. Kiker still in the middle. Yep, doing doing and his job just, in that in that little yeah. and I'm tanky. I can't you, you can't really do anything against me. I'm gonna fusion beam you in the face. At yep. My With Pioneer being the only D DPS truly on this side of the map for Red Team, just not gonna be able to punish the Levy enough for pushing. So he has free reign of mid mine. Team Euro Trash currently up by almost an entire level. Three, 3,300 minerals. Infinity going for the third mine, Alpha side, and he's gonna get it uncontested. While Bodmans tries to equalize this by pushing for third mine in beta. And it looks like he's also gonna get this as their teams start to square up in Gamma. Looks like he's gonna be putting his team in a bad position though because the entirety of Team 
Team Euro Trash. Euro Trash. Or, well, they, they weren't there, but. Or, yeah, they weren't. Death Ball going out. It's gonna connect with Kiker, Willis, Errorist even and Errorist. About half health. That was a very well aimed Death Ball. Kitten doing plenty of damage. Errorist needs to pull back, but he's not Death gonna be able to pull off back. on Errorist. Not from Goodbye. a no, Tyker pushing right up into the formation, death beaming Fridgeman, watching his health just drop away. Much more fire, and he will be gone. Kent jumping in work. with the persecutor However, to secure the kill. Yeah, Infinity. Bodman's Bodman's gonna drop to Kent. One for one that had to hurt. So far. Yeah. Now it is in falling to Horizon. Well. Horizon. Focusing Infinity, but... Gatesan probably going to fall to this. Yep, that's a lot of damage. Charger is... I'm gonna try to pick off Infinity for with a, a Death Ball. Range death Ball. Definitely, definitely oh, yes. A ballsy move. Uh, did, a uh, lot of <laughs> did a lot of damage before he was able to blink out. Yeah, not ending up being worth it, but not the worst move ever. Infinity able His to blink to keeping him around. safe from zero strike. But another ball up. charging. Charger wants down. infinity. Infinity going into the ball. Is he going to take the damage? No, he's going to stop nope. before he gets there. Zero strike, taking a little bit of bomber fire and just s surviving somehow on low health. Not anymore. There he is. Very Willis. Gamma. Gonna follow soon after as Ken and Kiker jump into the mix. Focusing down Fridgeman. Death Ball and close range Persecutor. Not gonna be able to save him even through the Aegis Shield. We are seeing a Constant back and forth. Although, there we go. Team Eurotrash grabs themselves. Gamma 2 for three of their members. Kiker, Errorist, and Kent Kenobi. Definitely Bodman's shit, you don't want that looking... Happen. Definitely not. Bodman's looking to take cover and possibly chase down Kent a little bit before he makes his escape. Kent grabbing a heal and Bodman's is down. Well played. Pyro and Aegis all left. Aegis is going to jump forward to try to pick up a kill on Kent. Is he in range of No, he is not. That blank saving him. Shield keeping Geitz and alive from Kiker. Nope. Both teams we are, see. Both teams are level eight now, though, so it's still anybody's game. Yeah, we saw there during the right after they won the gamma, some of red team split off and captured up beta side to try to regain some of the lead, but it just wasn't enough. And now blue team is back in, retaking the mines that they just lost. Alright. We've got infinity here on the. Third mine in the beta taking that. Is he gonna dip back? Is he gonna push forward? There's only Bodmans here to protect a forward operating base against five four enemy ships. Four enemy ships. That is not something you generally want to do with a super lifter. Oh, definitely not. Two in Alpha, they decide to send one home to try to defend from this threat here in beta. Two more jumping in, Gaitan and Zero Strike. Making the total three, now four. Alright. Jump point coming down from Kiker, so he's gonna be able to drag over anybody that's currently not in position. 
So it looks like whoever's in Alpha is going to grab... Or was going to grab that midpoint, but now Willis is here. We've got a brawl on a forward operating base. Fridgeman getting focused down. Aegis Shield coming out, protecting him from a lot of damage. Kent oh, yeah. goes out, almost getting blasted. But he comes away with a little bit of health. The I hear the Aegis charging. Oh, oh, the excitement button has been pressed. Is he going to be able to hit anybody with it? No, Kent goes down. He does a little bit of damage on Tiger. Fridgeman goes down. One DPS for another. Are we going to see... Infinity, Willis, and Kiker right in the mix here. Focus Four people. On gates on. That is going to be a dead fight. Oh, yes. No. Infinity able to jump behind cover, effectively distracting Bodman's in charge of. Mm -hmm. I think that might be this engagement for Bodman's getting focused down, eating a magma lance, and the beam goes off on air arrest. But he's able to dodge much of it. But will he be able to dodge this? No, not gonna be able to dodge it. He's going to eat it. Still healing through the ball, though. Able to survive by throwing himself buoys. Infinity already back in the match. Fridgeman jumping in as well. Are they going to be focusing Kiker? Anybody? Are they going to be able to maintain their hold on this forward operating base? It looks like they might be able to just. And do it's it. going to be Levy for Levy as they successfully defend this FOB. Ugh. Excuse me. Such a such an intense series of fights right there. However. However, Team Eurotrash has gotten level 9. We are going to see level 9 for Team Horizon before next game. Willis suicide right here so he can be up for that game of 3. So this is going to come down to whoever wins this. Tactical death. He's out. 60 seconds. Charge is going to try to grab a mine. and No, actually, he's going to throw a death ball. See if he can catch Aeris when jumping at the FOB. Aeris not going to have any of that. Nope, I'm out. No death ball for me, thanks. Nope, oh, he is taking a, a bit. A little bit of damage. Eh, Thankfully, he's, he saw it coming and did not jump home very... Yeah. Very smart idea on his part. Of his health, he's going to be able to heal it up before Gamma even starts. Zero Three strike. members. Oh, Zero strike is in trouble. And they're even. Yep, he's got caught out early. He was in against three of them. Yeah, level nine. Before his level team came to back up. It's a really, really big deal. And all of your trash has level nine. While we're still missing a level 9 from Zero Strike, that is huge. Level 8 Leviathan. Gonna be holding Death back this Ball, game. chewing up Aeris, oh. taking nearly half of his health. That First is, time it's solidly connected. That is and not good for Aeris. Fridgeman taking part of a beam, some of it being blocked by a structure, some of it being blocked by the Aegis Shield. Overall, Fridgeman is pretty safe at the moment. And he's down. He dove in, trying to get Bodman's. So close. Definitely worth a shot, but it ended up costing him too much. Are they going to be able to even this up? Euro trash. You're down one man. You need to be able to even it up. Ryzen capping very slowly, but they are low. Bodman's going to get focused down by Kiker. Deathbeam taking his life. While Infinity struggles to stay alive versus Fridgeman. Death Ball coming in and he's out. Just barely Infinity yeah. to go down. S still trying to keep him alive while the team focuses Infinity and Errorist. Failed Death Beam through the structure. Errorist is going to live. 
a little bit longer. Fridgeman, very low. Kiker, able to pick up a kill. Ram kill. Oh, insult to injury. That is going to be very... Harrist taking the Magma Lance, and he's down. Get Kenobi back on the scene with his Persecutor. Perfect. Infinity catching Gaitzan out of position. That's going to be Gaitzan down. I For think sure. That that is Infinity definitely. still surviving. Just bouncing all over this Gamma. Grabbing a heal buoy when he can to stay in the fight. That is four members of your trash still up with Gamma 3. Gonna go for it. They're in a position where they can just get right in there. Willis being the first to dive in. 7%, 8, 9. Kent is in on the scene. Kiker is in. Gonna drop down a jump buoy so that his team can get in quicker. Yep, no need to open FOB with only one person down and the ability to drop that buoy. Yep. 40%, very slowly coming in. Infinity and Aorist are on the scene. 60%, 70%, can they stay alive? 80%, With this buff, 90%. all they have to do is set. That they can stay game. alive, they can win the game. Okay, GG, well played to all the competitors. Mm -hmm. Nice job to Team Eurotrash for securing the victory versus Team Horizon. There you go, all right, so. As it stands, let me, let me bring up the brackets here. Where are they? Brackets, where are you? I know you're in this Discord somewhere. All right. Oh, that's a good question. I did see them just a moment ago. Okay, I'm gonna remind teams to post their results. So we are going to see Team 03 versus Team Eurotrash and Team Sky versus Team Horizon. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of uh, kind of fitting that uh, Team Sky and Team Horizon should meet. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> this <laughs> seems to make sense, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Okay, GG, well played from both teams, going the distance all three yeah, games. This has been a series of whoop, fantastic games. This is this is this is why I do tournament stuff. Just seeing people play so incredibly well. I mean, there's a, a paragon and a persecutor and a hunter in a tournament team, and they oh, yeah. won. What is this? Yeah, well, we were thinking in the beginning. We were we were looking at a lack of DPS facing up against a levy Aegis, a combo yeah. that has been proven to just rip through everything while never dying. And. And they did. They died. They got. Oh, this this is just. This is amazing. This yeah, is amazing. that was. Both teams really put in the effort there. Props to Team Euro Trash. Mm -hmm. Secure the victory. Two out of three games won. All right. Okay, and there it is. So, we'll see what the scheduling will be for the rest of the bracket. Alright, at this point, we're going to be switching up again, because we're going to have another series going on. Uh, I believe I'm covering Team uh, Ozone and Team uh, Eurotrash, and then you'll have Team Sky and Horizon. Yeah, this should be good. This is going to be, this is going to be a ton of fun. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and switch rooms and we can get to it as soon as everybody's okay. ready. Thanks for joining me, Zared. Absolutely. Good luck on your games. You too. I hope to, I, I'm going to be, I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be watching after all this is done because, oh boy, oh boy tournaments. All right. I will see you for the final. Yeah. See you in the finals. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was. Ugh. Ugh.
so, so many, so many. So many good games. So many good games. I am enjoying myself. This is great stuff. But uh, now, I do believe, I do believe, that, uh, let's see, let me exit out of there. So I need to get in contact with the folks for Team 03 and This is so good. This is this is definitely gonna end up being longer than I thought it would be, but I tell you what, oi, these are some good games. These are some wonderful games. I'm gonna have plenty of stuff to watch tomorrow. Makes me happy. Maybe I'll just watch it when I maybe, maybe I'll watch it while I'm on work. Alrighty. So silly, so silly. All right, and I will grab There we go. There we go. Bump on up on a man a man. Bun a man a man. I have no idea why I sang Team Sky. Hmm. 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 Sky's written on the. Yeah. I'm bad. I'm bad at my job. That's okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm-mm. Looks like we have a, uh... team that has run into some issues. Either they have given up or they've run into time constraints. So it looks like Team Horizon is no longer in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So it looks like... It looks like we've got uh, a team that is forfeiting. Uh, due to time constraints. That is highly unfortunate. That is highly unfortunate. So it looks like Team Horizon has given up, so Team TVA gets a bye. 
Oh no! Oh no! That is highly unfortunate. Oh well. So what's going on? We're missing still somebody from Team Eurotreesh. Thank you guys very much for the follows. We're dealing with a little bit of an issue here. Team Horizons has uh, apparently dipped out. got an AFK Willis. <laughs> New ship on screen. Thank you all very much for the follow. I do in fact appreciate it. I can't see all of you that have followed. I do I really do sincerely New appreciate ship it. On screen. Wow, there's so many of you guys. Thank you. We're going to be getting rolling here before too long. Got to I don't want that invite. I don't want it. Snake, snake. No step on snake. No step on snake. Thank you very much for the follows, guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope this is something you guys find interesting. Um, I will be I will be uh, chopping up this uh, whole uh, this whole thing and uh, putting it up on YouTube afterwards. 
So if you would like to watch it there with a little less uh, in between time, um, that would be. something you you guys will be able to do but right now I'm kinda sitting here going mm, bleh, bleh. I need to start playing I need to start doing some karaoke am I gonna have to start playing Hearthstone in between queues is this gonna be like some League of Legends stuff like the pros do when they're in their 20 minute queues where they're like streaming League of Legends but they queue up Hearthstream or Hearthstone while they're waiting. we go. Willis is now here. Alrighty. So there we go. It looks like... Hold on. All right, one ban is in. <laughs> na, 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 na. Baby, my heart's on fire. If you refuse me, honey, you'll lose me, and you'll be left alone. Oh, baby, telephone and tell me I'm your own. I can't do that very well. They're actually going with perfect AI. Oh man, that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> that's gonna be really interesting if they end up winning with that. Although I'm pretty sure it's just for fun. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen.
We are about to begin and do the things and stuff. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Oh, that that's probably not even the right notes. All right, we have an Egas band and a Paladin Paladin band. The Paladin and the Egas do not surprise me as bands. So, what are we gonna see here? What are we gonna see here from each of our teams? I really don't know. Other than it's gonna be good. Come it's gonna nice be move. good. All right, Infinity, Willis, Kiker, Kent, Kenobi, and Errorist on Team Euro Trash here. Uh -oh. We might see a repeat of last game. Toxic Expanse and uh, Opulon Cascade. Uh-oh. Yeah, it looks like we're going to see a bit of a repeat. This is going to be very, very interesting. So currently we have a Leviathan Interceptor from O3, a Leviathan Paragon from Team Eurotrash. A Hunter currently being hovered over are we going to see a persecutor there it is from Kent Kenobi if it ain't broke don't fix it ladies and gentlemen the only thing that's changed is Kiker has gone with the hunter this time and infinity is in the Leviathan whereas it was reversed last time a Colossus and brawler coming out from team 03 they saw all of that mobility they saw those uh, those drones and fighters from the Paragon, they really don't want to deal with that. So having the Colossus there and the Brawler there really allows them to have excellent picks. The Interceptor and Leviathan, excellent DPS. Superlifter, I mean, I mean, it's the Superlifter. Come on, what do you want? So, mm. this is going to be, this is going to be a very, very awesome game. This is... This is O3 trying to counter what they knew was going to be coming out of Team Eurotrash. It it's this is going to be this is going to be a fantastic game. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this one goes. Because no matter what, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be very interesting because you've got kind of a buzzsaw comp going on with O3 and the mobility comp coming out of Eurotrash. But but I think O3 might, might have the tools to counter Team Eurotrash in this particular instance. With the Colossus and the Brawler there, you have the ability to make picks very, very easily between Engine Disable and Harpoon, so I would imagine that things are going to get very messy, especially because there's no paladin on the field to uh, do what's it called? Purge. These are the finals. No, these are the semi finals. So whoever wins from this match is going to go to the finals. I mean, we've, we might very well see this particular lineup in the finals, but that will only be if the loser of this particular set defeats uh, the other team in the loser's bracket. Infinity, Aerist, and Kent Kenobi in beta going New forth, ship on screen. doing their thing, getting that mid-mining base, Centaurus getting focused early on, not a lot of defense on that interceptor. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Infinity taking tons of damage. A fusion beam right to the top, breaking his armor. That is going to be a lot of hurt coming down. Centaurus gonna get jumped on right here. AoE coming out from Kent. And there we go. They're jumping on him. They're jumping on him really, really hard. Kent get the focus down by Centaurus and Obi-Wan. Are they going to be able to take him out though? No, that fusion beam comes out from Infinity. It's going to crush him for first blood. Kent 
still taking a lot of damage. But heals are coming in. Mr. Bear in his Leviathan now getting focused down. His rear end is facing the wrong way. Oh no. <clears throat> I don't think Mr. Bear is in a good position. Not with Infinity right there. Magma Lance has already come out. We're about to see a fusion beam into the face of somebody. There we go. Mr. Bear fusioning right into Infinity. Not doing a whole lot of damage with it though. Kent's still at half health. Plenty of damage coming in. Oh, the Centaurus has already shown when it back up, but he is level one. So he's gonna be doing a little bit more damage. He's gonna be a little bit harder to kill. That might be a very huge deal. There we go, Kent goes down in his very, very squishy persecutor. Infinity pushed way back there. He's not gonna be able to make it out. He's currently getting focused down. Too much damage coming in. So he might take Centaurus with him, but he is not going to be making it out of this situation. Especially not with the fusion beam cutting through him like that. No sir. No sir, Bob. Terrorist getting out of there. Man, I don't need to be here. My front line's gone. Escape. Escape. Mr. Bear going back. He's going to grab himself. Level 2. Both teams about to hit level 3. No real lead present right now. It's a difference of less than, like, 50. Obi-Wan has pushed forward way too far. He is jumping home and just barely makes it out. Just barely makes it out from that position. Very, very risky move he just made right there. Oh, Centauri is doing the max range poke on Kent Kenobi with that Goss Driver. Not a whole lot of damage, but I tell you what, still getting hit directly at max range from that, that's going to be enough to, to scare you a bit. We've got Mr. Bear and Infinity already present on Gamma. The entirety of O3 showing up. Is Mr. Bear going to get taken down by the two, only two members of Eurotrash? currently in attendance. Infinity hooked. No? Alright. He's not getting reeled in. Mr. Bear getting focused down. Is he gonna go down? Yes he is. That's a five and not. That is a really big deal. 403. Who is currently the focus target for that? Infinity is the focus target for 03. Not the best focus target in the world. Case CPK being folks down in his brawler. He's gonna fall to Kiker and Kent Kenobi. It looks like a rather commanding Gamma 1 for Team Eurotrash. Ailey coming out from Kent while he's focusing on Centaurus. Kiker joins him. Obi Wan is gonna try and escape, but is he gonna make it out? Centaurus almost taking a Magma Lance to the face. But getting finished off by Willis. That is lots and lots of damage that has come out. A very, very commanding Gamma 1 by Team Eurotrash. They owned most of the map, mining base wise, and now they have Gamma 1. Nobody lost it. Everybody still, still got it. So they are in an excellent position. Bear, Axagoras, and one other, nope, just the two of them, making their way down Alpha, looking at Kyker, who's just sitting there right at max range, he's not really trying to engage, he just wants people to pay attention to him, I don't, I don't blame him that much, he's just gonna cap stuff, he's not bothering me. Buddy. He's just taking mines. There he goes, ducking behind some cover as he decides to go back home using regular jump. No. Yes. I don't know. There we go. Looks like O3 
three are going to hold on to Alpha. Packer jumping home and then jumping back into Alpha so that he can go ahead and heal up. Meanwhile, over in Beta, we have KCPK in his brawler here, Kent Kenobi getting focused. Infinity going in on KCPK, focusing that brawler down. Lots of damage coming in on both targets. Infinity just straight up jumping out. Nobody's gonna stop him. He wasn't in uh, in a bad position to do it. Wow. Just just a heavy just jumped out with, with nothing done to him. That is not something you see every day. He was in such a good position. He was able to just dip right out. are going to go ahead and jump back. A very strong push still going on here in Beta. But they have to answer to that push in Alpha. Uh, Centaurus pushing forward here. Trying to deal with Kent. However, Kent is just in one of the natural predators of the Interceptor. That is not the kind of ship you really want to come up against highly mobile ship that will get behind you and negate your firing arcs is, is, is generally a bad day. It's generally a bad day. Here as we move forward through beta. We are seeing, oh no, Axagor is running out there on his own. Three B1, he's going to end up getting cut down. He's got heals coming in, but are they going to be enough? Is he going to have enough tank ability to get out of this situation? It doesn't look like it. He is currently getting hammered by that Leviathan. So much DPS coming in, and now Kent is coming in as well. That is a lot of DPS coming in onto a Colossus. Definitely a tanky ship, but it can't really stand up to that. Taurus trying to snipe somebody at long range, not doing anything really. As Axagoras goes down, Kent was brought down to half health, but uh, he's still in a perfectly safe position. Man. Very, very tough position to be in for Axagoras right there. He, he felt like he had to jump out there and do something, but he ended up paying for it with his ship. A minute and 15 seconds until Gamma 2. Both teams have level 6. We might see Euro Trash with level 7. Nothing really going on right at the moment. What do we got going on here? Gamma online in 60 seconds. Alrighty. Ooh, goodness. This man jumping back to base. Getting himself repaired and figuring out what he wants for level 6 as he's about to proceed, I'm guessing, into Gamma. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. As he drops right down into Gamma. Magma Lance coming out, aimed right at Infinity. Fusion Beam coming out on the enemy Leviathan. Not doing nothing, but not the best use of the ability. Bullets coming right up. Kiker finally arriving. Everybody's here. AoE damage coming out from Kent Kenobi. Not an insignificant amount of damage dealt to all the ships present. Errorist currently getting focused down. He's been pinned, it looks like, by... KCPK dodging just barely some damage there. As KCPK goes down, finally getting melted. It looks like Team Euro Trash is going to walk away with this gamma at this rate. Centaurus currently getting focused down. Is he going to be able to survive this onslaught of damage? Because he's got two blinkers on top of him. Willis just 
covering him with fire. He finally goes down. Gamma 2 is going to be captured by Team Eurotrash here. They are going to increase that lead. That level 7 that they have is going to do them tons of favors when coupled with Gamma 2. It's very, very possible, seeing as they own most of the map, that they are going to walk away with a victory very soon. They just need somebody to get out there and grab a Ford operating base. But right now, right now, they're just taking some kills where they can get them. It's free minerals, after all. Alright. And there we go. Alright. I'm gonna follow Kent for a moment here. As he captured this, captures this mid mine and moves forward onto the far mine. We see plenty of Captain Dylan on. Centaurus finally showing up. Kent really doesn't want to deal with him at long range. So he decides to just jump right out, especially since they just achieved level 8. That's a bit of a jump from level 6. Alright, was that buoy placed before? Nope. The buoy did not make it down before the Leviathan jumped out. Obi-Wan is going to be able to come right on in and take this middle mine back. <laughs> Alright, damn it. Concussion missiles coming out from Centaurus, specifically on Kent, just to make sure he doesn't get jumped while he is jumping. That is absolutely perfect. That is really what you want to be doing in that situation. Obi-Wan currently all alone in beta. Doing the best that he can to defend versus three very, very scary ships. Alpha currently lots of damage going down here. Willis getting run down by Exagoras, who has just run right into the forward operating base. Looks like each team is having to react to a very strong push by the other. Willis getting eaten alive by KCDK. Exagoras very slowly whittling away Tiger. Bump coming out. Kiker has been nabbed by the Brawler. He's gonna get reeled in, but he's gonna be able to do enough damage to the Brawler before it finishes him off. We have a base push from Team Eurotrash. They are currently focusing down Centaurus. They're gonna be able to take him down. 42%, 45, 50%. Alright, and now it begins to slow down as more members of O3 Turn. Tons and tons of cat power coming back into the base to try and prevent Team Eurotrash from walking away with an easy victory right here. Mr. Bear currently out on his lonesome, getting focused by the entirety of Eurotrash that is present. Kent Kenobi keeping himself out of in front of Mr. Bear. He does not want to get Magma Lance, but he's gonna get Fusion Beam. That Blink didn't come back up quick enough. Mr. Bear is going to fall, however, at this rate. We've got Gamma 3 coming up here in a minute 40. We're going to see Errorist and Infinity go down. They're gonna start jumping because they need to get out of here. Before Gamma comes up. Wow, Infinity actually makes it out. Will is jumping as well. He's gonna make it out as well. That's pretty amazing. So, what we might end up seeing right here. Nope, nobody's gonna go for the cheeky back door. But we've got two teams at level 8, one with 12% of their base still left. This is tough. 
stuff. Very, very tough stuff. Team gamma, Euro Trash going right into Gamma because they own it. They've still got somebody in O3's base because there's no reason for them to not. He's keeping them there, keeping them busy. Doing, I'm guessing, yep, that's Kiker and the Hunter. Doing Hunter things. Being very annoying, forcing people to respond to him. So we've currently got two people, three people in Gamma from Euro Trash. They are about to hit level nine. That's gonna be rather big. Kent and Obi going back. Mr. Bear showing up on the side. He's gonna go ahead and throw out the Magma Lance. Not going to land on Willis. Kent Kenobi is back already with level 9. Kyker has level 9. Ararist has level 9. Only Willis and Infinity without it. But nobody on Team O3 has it. Mr. Bear just getting focused down. He's going to fall. Is he going to be able to take Kent Kenobi with him? No, he will not. And that is a heavy swing in favor of Team Hero Trash. Kent Kenobi still getting focused down. KCPK about to fall to all of that focused damage. Centaurus trying to do the best he can. Trading one DPS ship for another, but it's not going to be enough. It's still 4 to 3. Centaurus getting focused down. Oh, by a fusion beam. And that is going to be 2 versus 4 in the favor of. Euro trash. We are going to see a jump out as Infinity waltzes in to O3 base and finishes it off. That was amazing. That was a very, very well executed match by everybody on Team Euro Trash. That was that was just amazing. I I'm I'm thoroughly impressed. They dominated that match completely. That is that is incredibly impressive. Alright, look at that. Look at that. Wow, 19 takedowns to 7? Wow. 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 That's pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy. Very, very well played. That was a pretty intense match. That was a pretty intense match. Oh. Thank you all very much for the follows. I do, in fact, appreciate it. I hope you guys are enjoying the tournament that we've got going on today. 
new ship on screen. Enjoying the casting that's going on today. I'm certainly, I'm, I, I'm certainly enjoying myself. These are, these are some really freaking intense games. Like, really freaking intense games. And I, this is great. This is absolutely phenomenal. <clears throat> Alrighty. <clears throat> All right. So teams are opting in for the five minute break. I can certainly see why. Uh, certain, certainly understand wanting to, wanting to uh, take the breaks because whew, this is some tough stuff, folks. This is some really tough stuff. <clears throat> Here we've got a little bit of a show match going on with bots in uh, with Team Horizon. Yeah, it looks like we've got some some show matches going on. They've got a uh, team of four, and they're taking a perfect bot. I'm very much I'm very much looking forward to to those matches, to watching those matches later. <clears throat> but we've got at least. Three more games to watch. This is going to be, assuming, assuming that they win. Um, no, I take that back. One, two, three, four, five. We've got at least five more games to watch. Oh. Yeah, this is taking a this is taking quite a while. Oh, I'm glad this is Saturday and not Sunday, because if it was Sunday I'd have to go to bed. But it's not Saturday. I can stay up past my bedtime. Don't tell my mom though. She'll get mad at me. Followed today. I appreciate that, you guys. I hope I hope you guys oh. are looking forward to more tournament casting in the future. Because I know I certainly am looking forward to there being more. Doing a little bit of watching the other game while it's going on right now. Team Horizon doing all right, considering they got a bot. They're 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 actually winning. What? I'm super duper confused right now. The team with the bot is winning. Oh man. 
that is that is too much. That is way too much. So does the winning team play KS3 or what? I... <laughs> nope. Nope. Y'all ain't, ain't Euros. Goodness me. on screen. ladies and gentlemen we have reached yet another band that I never thought I would see a paragon band a freaking paragon band dude oh my gosh oh my gosh a freaking paragon band come on Oh my goodness. This is not something that I was expecting. This is not something that I was expecting at all.
ship on screen. Thank you all very much for the follows. I appreciate it quite a bit. While we're waiting on this match here to get going. Come on. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. We have a Paragon and Paladin ban. This is going to be very interesting. I'm not sure. What we're gonna see? Conquest mode. We don't have an Aegis ban, so are we gonna see it just be a simple matter of Willis switching out for the Aegis? It's entirely possible. I remember, I remember the days when it was like, <laughs> why would you take a Paragon? The Paragon is terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's not terrible anymore, man. Not with them heal suppression drones. It's OP. I remember when I was crying because they were 90% for pressing one button, which was really OP. That is a protector. That is a protector. 403. I'm confused. Protector not... Oh, hey, an enforcer being hovered on right now. Hmm. There you go. There you go. Alright, so Protector, Hunter, Brawler, Leviathan, Leviathan, Super Lifter, Persecutor, and Enforcer. What's gonna be that last pick? Willis, what you gonna play? They banned your Paragon. You gotta take something. Are you gonna take an Aegis? You gonna take. Oh, a, Col a Colossus. Colossus is what's being hovered on right now. That's gonna be a lot of tankiness. And a lot of CC, but not a whole lot of DPS. I guess they might be using it to uh, help chase down the, uh, the protector there. Going to be very, very interesting to see how this goes. Oh man. Oh man, it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Obulon, Cascade, and Ruins of Halcyon. Ruins of Halcyon's the best. I I would buy I would buy a summer home in Ruins of Halcyon. I'm not gonna lie. An Endeavor. What? What? What is this? A Protector, Hunter, Brawler, Leviathan, and Endeavor versus Leviathan, Superlifter, Persecutor, Enforcer, and Colossus. I'm not sure that this is going to work out for O3. I think the Colossus pick is better than the Endeavor pick. And the Protector pick, I'm not sure was the best idea. Hmm. This is going to be very, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Uh, you guys are finally catching up with the picks. <laughs> Dang it! I need to set up my own, my own, I uh, my own emote. I haven't set mine up yet. I need to figure one out. I don't know what would make a good if Scythe Beam would make a good one, but I mean, it's an option. <laughs> oh chat, it's so fun to watch you guys react to stuff two minutes behind it actually happening. <coughs> protector. If that protector takes ability to disable, I would be so happy. Um Ability to disable. Aren't you a happy boy? and bubble shield. I don't know about... Uh, let's find out. 
defensive field. Nope, that's toggle. Alrighty. So where's the three stack on either team? It looks like, yep, it's in beta. So we're gonna go to the midpoint. Yes sir, Bob. Infinity, Ken Kenobi, and Errorist versus Centaurist, Obi-Wan, and KCPK. Ken Kenobi coming in, taking lots of damage early on. Taurus doing a bit of poking with that hunter. But not a whole lot of damage coming out from either team. Nobody really wants to engage. Nobody really is interested in engaging. People are just being being real cautious. Alright, so we've got engine disable coming out, we've got Cuss has come out, but they're not pushing forward onto Errorus, so there's really not a whole lot that that Concuss has done. They're just kind of sitting there. Come on, guys! Go for a little bit of action. See, we've already got first blood in the other lane. It could have been y'all, but you didn't want it. There we go. AoE coming out from Kent Kenobi. Not nothing, but just not a whole lot of damage overall. There we go. Centaurus and KCPK both poking out at infinity. Kent Kenobi. Oh, getting concussed and disabled. Look at that wombo combo, ladies and gentlemen. Centaurus getting blown to smithereens. But that wombo combo on the persecutor right there is going to be enough to end up taking him out. That was absolutely beautiful. <laughs> uh, KCPK gonna get focused down. Really not a whole lot he can do. I mean, he's not gonna die because the protector is going to be able to keep him alive, but he's not going to be able to out DPS a super lifter on his own, considering the defense of the Leviathan. But you know what? Fusion beam coupled with a magma lance, not going to be so great. Not going to be so great. Error is going to go ahead and call the Centaurus right there. Mr. Bear. Wait, no. Is that Infinity? Infinity left. Kent Kenobi. Coming in to beta. Not a whole lot going on here, so let's go ahead and check out Alpha, where I Daniel just got slain. Kiker is about to go down to Mr. Bear. Willis. Powering his way forward, going after Kent. Kent is just out of range. Oh no! Will is just got hooked by KCPK. He's gonna get focused down and blapped by the Wombo combo right there. That is an even split on the map. Kent Kenobi's gonna go ahead and grab that last mine right there to give his team an advantage. As O3 comes in with nobody actually taking advantage of level 4. However, not everybody has taken advantage of level 4 for your trash as well. Damage turrets coming out. Kyker get focused by the Endeavor. There we go, Kiker getting focused by Bear as well. Lots of damage coming in on the Enforcer. A very dangerous ship. I'm not sure I would have focused it over the Persecutor though, as it is a little bit tough to kill. Kiker goes down to Daniel. 
as Willis pokes at Obi Wan. Mr. Bear ends up going down 0 3, slowly losing their gamma that they had built up. As that gravity charge pulls everybody in, tons of damage coming out on to Kent Kenobi. He's going to go down. That is going to be in favor of O3. Is this going to work? Is the Endeavor pick actually going to make it worthwhile? I don't know what's going on right there. It looks like KCPK was run up against one of Daniel's turrets. Oh, Centaurus getting focused down right there by Kiker. Is he going to be able to survive? He's going to jump back. He's currently out of harm's way, but O3 is just barely ticking up the capture. D3. There we go. Now it's starting to speed up 60%. 70%. 80. And it begins to drop down now that Kent is on the scene. Kiker is back even. Infinity about to fall. A Daniel staying alive. Centaurus is about to fall. Daniel is about to fall due to Kiker. He's going to need an extra shot though. Obi Wan's about to go down, and that is three members of O3 down. It looks like that extra mine that Euro Trash picked up is going to end up doing them quite a bit of favors as they're about to get Gamma 1 and level 6. Wow. Wow. That is absolutely phenomenal. That is a huge boon for Team Euro Trash. Very impressed. Very, very impressed. Alright, how many folks have Gamma? I think everybody. Four people. We see a strong push here in beta from Team Eurotrash. Tugboat drones out on the Leviathan as Infinity pushes forward. Magma Lance going out trading with Mr. Bear. A little bit of damage coming out. AoE coming out from Kent Kenobi. Hitting all three members of O3. Not a whole lot of damage coming out, but you know what? It doesn't have to be a whole lot of damage. It's damage. Some is better than nothing. Taurus currently getting poked at a little bit by Infinity. Not a whole lot of damage landing. We are at another moment of rather low pressure from either side. Nobody really wants to engage. There we go, Kent jumping forward, dodging that magma beam, but he's gonna end up taking a fusion beam to the face for not eating that magma light. Not sure that that was the best deal for him right there. Infinity goes forward, tries to pick off Centaurus, does some damage, but he's not gonna get him. Centaurus is currently chasing Kent Kenobi, while Mr. Bear trails him as well. Infinity now chasing after Obi Wan. Obi Wan leading Infinity to his potential doom because Infinity is currently out here on his own. Kent Kenobi has come up. He's got a fusion beam Centaurus in the side. Lots of damage coming in. Oh, the mobility suppression just at the right time as the blink from Centaurus was spooling up, but he's going to get taken out. Very, very good timing right there. But that is going to be a very successful push 
from Euro Trash right here as they own almost the entire map, just missing those forward operating bases. A full level ahead, currently 4,000 minerals. <coughs> the damage is going to be focused on that the Endeavor turrets right there. That is a huge amount of damage. No longer coming out from the game. Fusion Beam coming out onto a Daniel, not doing a whole lot because he's at such long range. KCPK currently out on his lonesome, gonna get blapped for it. Bad luck, Brawler. Sorry, bud. Can't jump into a 3v1. Walk out unscathed. Alrighty, so. Wow, Euro Trash owns the entire map right now. They're about to hit level. Eight. They're jumping into O3's base. Kent just jumping right on it and taking out this first generator. One turret going down. Everybody just moving right on in. But they're gonna jump out. It looks like they are heading to Alpha 2. Consolidate their power. Mr. Bear getting focused down by the entirety of Eurotrash. As Eurotrash actually retreats to their base, so that way they can avoid being dead before Gamma 3. Will is currently taking lots of damage right here as he boosts away into an asteroid. But he's gonna make it out just fine. Wow. Fantastic. I mean, this looks a lot more like a game that's at Gamma 3 than, than it's at Gamma 2, but it's a Gamma 2. Very, very nice here. As we have the entirety of Euro Trash already ready. Gamma online in 30 seconds. Kiker jumping out to pay attention to whoever is at Alpha 1 right here. Centaurus in. 20 seconds. His hunter trying to cap has drawn Kiker out. Are we going to Gamma see in 10 the entirety of O3 jump on top of Euro Trash. Nope. Gamma two active. That would be really cool. We do see a little bit of that as a Daniel goes in on his own. He's gonna get focused down though. Kiker and Kent are gonna chase him. I didn't even see the counter. I did not even see the counter. <laughs> Euro Trash already has Gamma Gamma two. Uh this really isn't very fair. Um, I mean, they, they, they've been two levels ahead for a little while now. Uh, 03 just caught up. I mean, they might take Infinity with them because KCPK picked them off, but I, I don't, I don't know. Looks like they're just gonna move in and murder Centaurus. Infinity is gonna go down because of KCPK doing his thing. However, Kent Kenobi is gonna chase after him. He's in a really good position to finish off the brawler. And there we go, that is one dead brawler. O3 currently owns most of the map. They're in a really good position. They might be able to come back at this point. Mr. Bear going down. Kiker getting pushed by that death explosion. But, uh, you know. Euro Trash still in the lead. They're about to hit level 9, whereas 03 is about to hit level 8. 
Euro Trash still has four out of five members with Gamma 2. They're in a super good position. They have the potential to win this game right now. Let me check in with Kiker here in his enforcer as he gets focused down by an endeavor and a hunter. Plenty of uh, pieces coming through. Uh, they're not really going to do anything. Willis just kind of sitting there going, yeah, I'm a Colossus. I mean, you're really not going to do a whole lot to me. So, like, why? I mean, yeah, you'll kill me eventually, but I got a million hit points. Come on. Daniel almost going down to the AoE and focus. But that's not what we get this time. It, are we going to see... Alright. Looks like we've got a... a jump buoy coming out right there from Infinity giving Euro Trash a chance to jump forward right into this mid mine. Looks like Infinity is going to head back and then jump back to his point. Oh no! They're going right on in, ladies and gentlemen. Right on in. I didn't even notice that they had the foreign operating base. How about that? <clears throat> damage going out onto the generators just to stop that little bit of triple damage. But not yet. Everybody has nine. I'm not sure that I agree with that push, but hey, I ain't the one in this argument right now. Fusion beam coming out from Mr. Bear onto Kyker. Not enough to kill him. Plenty enough to break though. Centaurus getting focused down. KCPK taking out Kent Kenobi. Currently putting Euro Trash on the back foot. Euro Trash decides to dip out. They don't want to be potentially down. Four, gamma, three. So they're just gonna, if they're gonna die, they're gonna die. If not, they're making it out. And they appear to have made it out. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. Doing all right. Doing all right. We're about to see a very, very organized Gamma here. Hopefully from both teams. But definitely from Team Eurotrash as they already have nine. And O3 will not have it by the time Gamma is up. of O3 is capturing mines. They're trying to shore up their mineral count, but they're not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to hit level 9 before Gamma 3 comes out. There's just not mathematically possible. Damage coming out on a Daniel. Magdalene gets taken down before it's able to hit. The entirety of Euro Trash shows up. We have plenty of damage coming out from either team. AoE coming out from Kent Kenobi. Gonna hit most of the enemy team. Doing plenty of damage. Centaurus getting picked up with his nose out there in the front. Goodness. Lots and lots of damage going out on Willis there. Not the most threatening target DPS wise, but still is going to be able to sit somebody down. Centaurus, you're getting beamed. Ah, Kent Kenobi jumping out there. Kent Kenobi going down, training himself for Centaurus. Still in favor of Team Eurotrash because of that level lead. Kyker getting focused down by KCPK. And Mr. Bear, that is a lot of damage coming out onto an enforcer. 
Willis moving forward, not really having much of a care in the world as he focuses down Obi-Wan. Infinity joining him. Kiker going down. Count now going in favor of... Oh, back to Eurotrash before I even finish my thought. Not that they're going at a speedy pace. Plenty of damage coming out, but Gamma 3 secured by Team Eurotrash. And, uh, yeah. Looks like they're going to finish off the Daniel before waltzing right on in to the enemy base. Because why not? That's one more ship you don't have to deal with. Mr. Bear here and already ready. Willis moving right on in. All the damage being focused on Willis at the moment. Mr. Centaurus getting focused by Eurotrash. There comes the AoE from Kent focused on Mr. Bear. Plenty of damage now going on to Mr. Bear. 90%, 95%. GG, well played. That would be another victory for Team Eurotrash. That was good. That was very commanding. That was... Wow. <clears throat> that was impressive. That was that. Uh, the games just have been getting better and better today. Just better and better today. Oof. New ship on screen. Thank you guys very much for the follow. I do, in fact, very much appreciate it. Oh, yes. 23 takedowns to 14. It's a little bit of a spread. Also, 30 support points to 12. Ooh, not so great. That was a very, very rough game for, uh, very, very rough game for O3. I feel bad for them. They got, they got worked. There we go. That is another series of two. And uh, what do we have going on with the rest of the bracket? So we do have we do have our first set of finalists, ladies and gentlemen. Team Eurotrash go into the finals. O3 still has a shot. But uh Oof. Where's the brackets? Yeah, we still have, uh... Semi-finals, another set of semi-finals, and then the finals. So we've got at least four more games to go. We have at least four more games to go. Oh boy.
Goodness, goodness me. Goodness. Are, are we are we actually having a game? I'm not sure. Oh my god. What what is this? Holy crap, I've been here almost five six hours. Yes the indeed. The last hour and a half of that has been me just kind of sitting here looking at my Oh, it God. has been a mess. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Through technical difficulties and struggling to field teams. Yeah. Uh, it has delayed this. Yeah. An immense amount. Yeah. Oh, well, through the magic of editing, nobody on YouTube will know. <laughs> this will be cut down into like three hours. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe less. <sighs> it's been really nice. I've had a nice steady uh, influx of follows, although I'm pretty sure 90% of them are uh, are bots. So it's a little sad, <laughs> I, but I'm not going to complain. I've uh, suspected the same thing. My, uh, my follow number has just about doubled today alone. Wow. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Just yeah, hoping it's not all bots. But hey, if they are, praise be to artificial growth. Mm. Alright. So here we are, finally getting underway. They know what the bands are, right? I didn't type it out. I should have. Yeah, I got it. Okay, good. It's Paragon Paladin. Paragon and Paladin band. Good. Thank you, Kalima Double Zero, for the follow. I appreciate it. Yeah, follows are delicious. Conquest mode. Conquest mode. Yeah. It looks like we're doing okay. best of one. Best of one. Winner takes all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got our first picks coming in revealed here in about 10 seconds. Very, very, very safe play from uh, Team Eurotrash. Indeed, huh? Or wait, no, this is Team Horizon. Scott? Yes, you, you. yeah, you've got red, the Horizon. I've got blue, Eurotrash. Going for an interesting comp that certainly worked for them earlier. You guys might recognize it. Mm, okay. As soon as it's revealed. Yeah. It was, uh, it was a comp that really impressed me in its execution. That would be the Percy Hunter. Oh, no. The blinky. It's been, it's been very effective. I've been, I've been, I've been very pleasantly surprised by the persecutor and hunter combo. Just, just in yeah, general, able to, able to bait and just kite constantly. Yeah, like, and they're, they're, they. I really hadn't thought about them complementing each other before, but they really do. They really do. Uh, if you're, if yeah, you, if. If you can keep rotating, especially in the gamma is where we really saw it shine, mm -hmm. is uh, where they just kept switching in and out, uh, kind of trading off bait, if you will. Mm -hmm. It'd be like, okay, guys, I'm out in the open, but I have a blink up. I'll draw their fire and then get undercover. Mm -hmm. And then once his blink's down, the hunter would take his place and etc. And they just keep trading that off 
while both are getting hit, but never taking an appreciable amount of damage to really be worried about. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's it's just it's phenomenal the just amount of juggling that those two ships can do. And I mean, we we've all seen it. We've all seen it like on a singular basis because I mean we've we've all had those games where there's that one hunter or that one pe- person <laughs> that's just that. dancing around being being oh it's that guy I can't kill him but yeah together, never taking shots together it's just like I don't know Voltron what, yeah whatever, that whatever, requires whatever the Voltron of being a jerk is <laughs> <laughs> that requires a very high level of team communication mm-hmm. to make sure that they keep trading off and keep getting undercover. Yeah, it is very impressive. Although I'm interested that we're seeing the gladiator pick out I, of uh, Europe. Yeah, I, although I'm betting, I'm betting that that is a direct counter to the destroyer because while I they, would say so. They they both have the DPS and the tankiness, but the 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 extra tankiness you're going to get from the uh, emplacement on the gladiator might offset the destroyer it definitely will at gamma but in lane, i think I so it's uh it, it's kind of like a a second tier counter to a heavy comp because the gladiator will rip through anything regardless when mm-hmm. emplaced in gamma and i think that's the plan they're gonna get him set up and they're gonna try to make the the levy and the destroyer irrelevant by just pelting them with damage that is, that is definitely something definitely something that can be worked with, uh, especially with the dancing around that the Hunter and Persecutor will be doing, putting lots and lots of pressure on Bodman oh. and his Super Lifter. For sure. Thank you, Marksel Deloxley and Baby Sorizo, for the follows. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let us get into the game. We're going to go into... New ship on screen. Uh, nope, we're gonna go into beta because that's where the three stack's gonna be. Kent Kenobi, Aerist, yep. and Willis facing off against Charger, Zero Strike, and nobody right now because <laughs> third person. Uh, got Infinity here. and Kiker versus Jafty and Stanith. Stanith getting hit by a Magma Lance. Philip still has his PDS running. Might gonna run out right as that salvo comes in from Kiker. Jafty gonna push under and see if they can do some damage to Infinity. Um, Landing a Magma Lance. I'm not really sure that this is the kind of engagement that uh, either team wants to be in because... Oh, Stan has taken a fusion beam to the side. Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah, he's not gonna survive this. Uh, mm-hmm. The Hunter... Gonna be able to dance around him, if you will. Stanith has shown very good command of the Interceptor, but it doesn't mean much when someone is behind you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Infinity, don't getting really, a bit low. Don't really allow you to, to do any cheeky maneuvers. There's no forgiveness. Instant death by Infinity as he tries to jump out. Charger comes in, it'll appear to be rail rockets, and he's gone. Kiker Great. taking cover below an asteroid, and he's going to get out. In the other lane, in the beta, blue team pushing pretty hard. Team Horizon here to defend. Uh, Ken not able to grab that third mine from them, and now he's going to find himself struggling to get under cover. Just getting that agonizing wait between blinks. He's going to try to get home. It looks like, so far, he will be able to. He's out of the way. Not able to be targeted. Lots of mines on that mid mine. Putting plenty of damage into Bodmin's. Being uh, being laid down as a trap. Mines are highly underrated, I think, as a... Uh, I agree fractured space. I expect to see them on more ships in the future, and I expect once people learn to be a little bit more creative with the ones that are already in-game, we're going to see probably a little bit of a a, a change in, in thought process. Especially with yeah, the, we, the Ranger. 
We've already seen some interesting use of mines, as some of the uh, mines, depending on placement, can phase through structures once they're floating towards a target mm -hmm. uh, in range. And so you can lay some creative traps where it, the mines will seemingly come out of nowhere and just smack you right in the face. Let's see. Gladiator using the sequential, by the way, so he's going to have some decent accuracy at the expense of those massive alpha strikes from the volley. But that should help him lead the smaller ships. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely a worthwhile trade, in my opinion. Team Euro Trash showing up, but they are currently one man down for Gamma 1. Kiker having to heal up, he will be here in a moment. Your trash currently in the lead due to four mines being owned. Kent dropping down his AoE bomb, hitting four out of the five members of Team Horizon. That and Kiker is bad. now in. Uh, Charge are doing a good job of baiting up on the top. They're throwing a lot at him, but none's really connecting. He's keeping the nose facing towards them. You really got to utilize the slim profile of the Sentinel. Team Horizon's currently happening it is very slow they are pulling it yeah out. uh i i suspect that they have cap crew on at least one of the ships I, probably one of the heavies I would with a little more so capture than normal a that's a, a tactic that i actually didn't really think much of until i faced it myself in the apollo league and we end up having 3v3 in the bubble being out capped just through crew alone that is certainly impressive. Level 4 already out for Team Air Trash coming in for Team Horizons. They are very slowly but surely capping this game of Stanith, poking his nose out. He's going to get smacked for it. Oh, yeah. Hang back. They've got no reason yeah. to engage. Let them come to you. For sure. Uh, they're probably waiting for Kent to dive on them, possibly. I haven't seen the levy beam go out from Jafty yet, or Infinity, so they're just biding their time, trying to poke poke out each other. Nothing. Air wrist in the open. Kiker jumping on Charger. There goes the beam on Charger. He's able to boost and make it, make it out for now. Now he's back under fire by Ken. Air is taking tons of damage. Ninety-two percent. Ninety-three. Kent's in the middle. And down. Kent falls. That's Gamma, That's Gamma 1 for Horizon. Wow. Question is, Eris drops as well. Willis moving up on the top, pelting Jarja. Displaying quite good accuracy, despite firing the Gladiator at a Sentinel. Bodman's also taking a lot of fire. Stanith almost dead, right in the blind spot of Willis, but he's still able to get the kill. And there goes Infinity. This is a slugfest. Now here we have it. Go ahead. I was gonna say, it might seem like uh, Eurotress up here and fighting this would be a bad idea because they're giving up plenty of minerals by dying, but the minerals that they're giving up by dying they're going to be outweighed by all those mining bases that they have. True, they do. They have held four throughout the entirety of the Gamma, pulling ahead in the lead. They're going to have six soon by the time they get out of here. And I do so let's believe see. they have denied Gamma from the entirety of Horizon. Uh, Bodmans yeah. and Jafty ah, still Bodmans. maintain it. So. so they have two out of five still have the Gamma. Well, Charja showing what he's like to do before playing the Sentinel. Aggressive capping, definitely keeping them in the fight even from behind. Very, very squishy target. It is definitely worth it to focus on to a persecutor when you can. However, he is not making it easy. 
No. Hugging up against that Using cover quite that. well. And here are reinforcements. Willis instantly turning broadside as soon as he gets in. And charge up, popping the boost to blow by him to the FOB. That's a play I really like. Mm -hmm. uh, because the only one that can follow quickly is Kent. Uh, Willis is pretty much stuck where he is. Mm -hmm. Is Charger going to be able to make it out? Kent's right on top of him. Aerith's doing a little bit of damage himself. Looks like yeah. Charger is going to go down. Yeah, he's got no boost. He has no way out of this. Almost as he used it previously. Him. Almost, but he lives on. Team Over an Alpha. Finally catching up in minerals. Levy making it out. From the assault from Staneth in zero strike. He's in the middle of four people. Yeah. And he's dead. Not a position you want to find yourself in. Of death this oh, early, definitely not, not the biggest deal time wise, but uh, with a strong push going on in beta, uh, it, it might give uh, it might give them what they need to continue the push and push all the way to third mine absolutely. and hold it. But it seems Zero has rotated as well as Staneth. Even he, in his, with his giant health pool and massive DPS, doesn't really want to go 3v, 3v1. It's not the No, he, he's going to go ahead and tactical respawn, uh, knowing that there's only a minute 50 to the gamma. Yeah, very, very... It, 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 while it's possible to end a game with gamma 1, it's, it's very difficult. Most people, oh, most, most games you don't pull it off. Gamma 2 ending, much, much more likely. That is definitely one you cannot, period, afford to lose. Because Infinity looking for a kill on Charger with a death beam, but unable to do so due to the structure. What I think is interesting is in our first game, uh, watching Team Euro Trash, we saw Infinity playing the Hunter. Uh, I'm kind of interested to see that they switched off pilots for this ship. Lots, it's, it's always good to have folks that can that can cover the same role. I've, Very I've, true. I know I've seen uh, Kiker do Hunter and uh, Enforcer today. He seems to do very, very well in uh, ships that give him a lot of tactical style movement. And that's, that's definitely something that the Hunter is absolutely fantastic at. Very true. Here we have both teams squaring up. Right. Yeah, Gamma Willis sticking his nose out there, getting focused down for it. Oh yeah. He's gonna take a lot of damage before his team gets in. Is he going and to that's a, stay up? That's a death beam. The heal almost negating the death beam. gonna survive, huh? Oh yeah, he's... That's a gladiator. Currently the cap power is in favor of Team Euro Trash due to levels. Yeah, they need to look for a kill here. They only have four people in as well. Georgia has elected to come in. Stan is drifting, drifting outside of the bubble. Be careful, guys. Don't drift outside of the Gamma yeah, bubble. That that's... will cost you a very large amount in Gamma. Oh, very Things true. But going. Charger is now in. See, Infinity's pushing up pretty hard. He's going to look for a kill on Stana. Question is, are they going to be able to melt him fast enough? That's Death Beam. That's, they're dumping everything onto Infinity. Staneth, extremely low. Kent jumping in for the kill. Can he get it? 
Yes, he can. Infinity is able to survive through that onslaught. Very good push on his part. I think it's Using himself to draw a fire. It's very interesting how for Team Horizons we had uh, we had Zero Strike push out on the side in his destroyer. And Team Eurotrash just ignored him. He's like, okay, we've got a destroyer after us. Yeah. That's great. He's not going to be able to turn around fast enough to help you because we're going to jump on top of you now. Yeah, say so Destroyer is very good for flushing people out of cover in Gamma, because no one wants to sit next to it for too long. But if you can just blow by him and get behind him, it doesn't matter the slightest. So already they've sent Charge up into lane to recap. Horizon, a level down. Can they come back from this? 3,000, almost 4,000 mineral deficit. I really wouldn't uh, wouldn't expect him to be able to come back from this. It's entirely possible that Team Eurotrack will walk away with a victory here. Say, so Ken moving up on mid mine, just ignoring Charger. They're not too worried. They think they can handle him. Mm -hmm. Kyker will deal with it. Using the boost, and he's behind cover for now, and he's gonna use the jump. Kyker gonna be able to hit him a couple times with those heavy cannons, and he is dead. Three shots, and he's gone. That was absolutely fantastic. Uh, Kent was able to just push right up to the lane. Yep. Zero strike, and his destroyer came in. Kent didn't feel like him with that, so he could just dip right out. An absolutely fantastic position for him. Yeah, with uh, the mobility and the, all the cover options here in the ruins of Halcyon terrain, you really, you can afford to do things like that. We have Infinity and Kyker facing off versus Zero Strike and Jafti. Zero Strike taking that Magma Lance to the side, that's really not going to help him. You, yeah, you do have a whole lot of armor in the side of that destroyer, but taking a Magma Lance is certainly not going to help you out. No, for sure. Hunter decide to play aggressive is he knows he's facing two heavies they can't turn around that quickly so he's gonna grab this FOB and they're just gonna be forced to jump out they have no no other option so by the time they turn around he's gonna be there taking their first mine and like that he is now meanwhile in beta Stanith is protecting against Terrorist, Kent Kenobi, and Willis all on his own. I do not see things going <laughs> his way. Be rough. I said Jafty just taking massive amounts of damage from Infinity and Kiker. As he tries to run back to his FOB, he will fall. has just run out. They jump True, they have they have about up. a minute to safely assault the base. Uh, generally you want to be out by two minutes at least just in case. Uh, there will be plenty of time to set up and respawn if necessary. Bodman's getting focused down by Ken getting melted mm -hmm. and he is down. Yep. Only two people up for Team Horizons. I do believe that with the focus fire, Euro Trash is able to put forward. We're at 50% now, 60%. I do believe that's the game, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Hey. The only other kill looking up, like, hey. uh, Charger was doing some damage on Ken, but just unable G to do it. G, congratulations to Team Euro Trash. They have walked away with the victory. Well played to everybody in the tournament today. There was some there was some hiccups. It didn't go perfectly, but you know what? We got through it. We got through it. And now we have uh, we have a winner. Congratulations to Team Eurotrash. <laughs> what a name. Currently best in the EU. Best in the EU. Eurotrash best of the EU. Alright.
But uh, thank you all for joining us. I'm going to go ahead and shut off. I will be uh, trimming down all of this footage. Uh, nor normally I upload it raw, but I think there's enough dead space in this one that uh, I'm going to trim it down a bit before I throw it up. Uh, thank you, Mr. Nemo, yep. for yep. joining me. Yep. How was thank your, you. How was your, was well. how was your first uh, outing as a, as a commentator? Did you have fun? Uh, I did have a lot of fun, despite uh, many te technical difficulties and hiccups along the way. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we'll have a lot of it ironed out for the next tournament. Mm -hmm. And it will run much, much smoothly. So, good game. Well played to all the contestants and the competitors. Uh, thank you for joining me, Zared. Mm -hmm. Have a nice night. You too. So, do you guys watching? There we have it. That is Team CETU beating Horizon in the finals for the victory. I apologize for all the delays we had. Many were unforeseen. A lot of game bugs uh, kind of put a stop in the whole operation, but we will definitely work on that in the future. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tournament and my commentary. Uh, I hope you guys can also give me some feedback on what I could do better next time, because I certainly plan on doing stuff like this in the future. Mm -hmm. So. GG, well played. See you later in space, Captains.